uh, about what happened with the Manosphere? <laughs> no, nah, what happened? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Man, they don't understand. So, all right, so peep game. So, apparently, I think, uh, well, I think my dog, Angry Man or Obsidian, created the Black Manosphere, right? They created it, right? Right. Well, some company, I think led by a woman, trademarked <laughs> the motherfucking name. Oh, shit. Uh, in May. <laughs> wow. And they're coming out with a black, I'm going to see the link. They're coming out with a black manosphere magazine. <laughs> wow. That's and, crazy. So I called, I called my lawyer and I asked him, uh, is there any way I could trademark the red pill so I can shut that shit down? <laughs> like, he was like, no, nah, they trademarked it in 2016. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was gonna spend the thousand dollars. <laughs> you know, yeah. Hey, as soon as I saw, as soon as I heard about that trademark, shit, I was called my lawyer. I said, "Can I trademark?" Uh, the oh, red pill? man, shout out, shout out to Angry Man and Obsidian, though, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Crazy, yeah. man. Yeah, wow. but, so, yeah, but they they took it, and now they're turning. Now it's being it's being led by a woman. Uh, it's a woman. I got to see the link, dude. I, I see the it's it's crazy. Wow. For, the, for, that, for that woman trademarked it and, and owns the trademark to that shit. She owns the trademark now. She has her, she's coming out with the, the black manosphere. It's a black manosphere. Man, I'm gonna see the link right now while we talk. That's crazy. <laughs> what is what is that even gonna be about? The black manosphere magazine. Well, <laughs> well, it's about I guess it's about black man's issues on a Sophisticated level. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, let's see the link right here, dog. Look at this shit real quick. Hold on, we cover link. Oh, we got we got one minute. Let me send that shit. That's look, cool. look, dude. Look at this shit. She did it for sure. Send me the link. Yeah, I'm sending you right. I'm sending you right now. Hold on. Yeah, let me see. Hold on. Oh wait, hey, hey, wait. That's in it. Shit. Hold on. Uh, All right. Wait, wait, wait. That's, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so click, click on that. Click on that, and you. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold just, on. Just go like in the middle. You'll see her talking. You'll see the you, in the beginning of it. You'll see the magazine, mm -hmm. <laughs> and while the woman's talking, the magazine's in the background. Wow. <laughs> yeah, hey, game trademark that shit, Nick. That's crazy. Game dog. Oh, so she <laughs> she <laughs> <made my head. laughs> Trey, hey, just swooped in. Wow. Marked it. And now they running with it as far as now they've got they own the rights. They they got the rights to that, man. So that's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, man. So all right. Well, anyway, guys, we, we're here, man. Uh shout out to everybody in the room. Uh, if y'all got a question, uh hit us up. And also for you guys out there that want to call in, the number is 516-387-1224. Lucario, what's good with you, brother? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling, man. You know, just out here, just spitting that game. You know how I do. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody in the chat. You know what I'm saying? And uh, guys, remember to call in number is 516-387-1224, 516-387-1224. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys want to call up, call up. If you have a question, put a Q in the chat. You feel what I'm saying? No. And then we're going we to get it popping. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? Um, today we're talking about the real ones in the game don't need to lie to women. And it seems Gosh. like it seems like a lot of guys today, uh, they live in they, it's not just they lie, lying to women, Lucario. Mm. It's the the first level is the lie that they live to themselves. Mm. And 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 they don't understand how women, how women can recognize liars. But okay. what's your take on that, brother? Oh yeah, well this is the thing. This is the thing. Um what this is this the let me let me tell them how deep it gets, okay? So this is what guys don't understand. Guys think that they they're lying and then they're getting away with the lie, meaning that they think that oh, I'm you know, I'm getting over on this chick. I'm you know, I'm I'm saying this and saying that, saying what I think she wants to hear, all that other stuff, right? What they don't realize is is that most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time the woman already knows that you're lying. Mm. What she does is that she just goes along with it. You understand what I'm saying? Because understand, women still love attention. 
And women like to believe lies. This is why, uh, for example, um, what's the guy named Derek Jackson? This is why Derek Jackson was so popular. These women knew he was bullshitting. You understand what I'm saying? But they went along with the lie because it made them feel good. So if you're lying to a woman, say, hey, baby, you know, I really like you. And, you know, I, I just never felt this way before about somebody and yada, yada. yada. She, she's like, she, of course, she wants to hear that shit. You understand what I'm saying? She knows you bullshitting, but she wants to hear that shit. So she's going along with it. But what? But this is what happens. Because you're lying and because you're playing games, that, you know, entices her to also play games with you. Mm. And she's already playing the game with you because she's going along with the lie. You understand what I'm saying? And so what happens is that you're going to be, you're going to take everything that goes along with that. So what happens is that she knows you're lying and she's going along with it, but she can also lie and act like she didn't know you was lying. So this is what's going to happen. When you start to fall off or start acting funny style, right? After, let's say you, you know, you had sex with her or whatever, or you're trying to make something happen with her. And then you start, you know, being your real self, you know what I'm saying? And then the lie is starting to dissipate. What she's going to do is she's going to get pissed off, angry, bring drama to you. Because you said you promised her all these things. You said, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. So, again, even though she knew you was on some bullshit, she's still going to bring the drama to you because she wants you to feel like she didn't know that you were lying. She wants she wants you to feel like it was real again, because that causes more drama, which causes more attention. You understand what I'm saying? But you're getting that type of energy from her based off of you doing the lies, based off of you being on that BS. So I, 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 I wish guys would understand that they think that they're gaming the chick and doing all this other goofy stuff. If you're talking to a girl and she's 28 years old, a 20 year old woman or whatever, and she's been dating since she was 16. You understand? You think she can't tell <laughs> when dudes is blowing smoke up her ass? You think she can't tell when you say in certain things that all the other guys then said to her? So she already has, she already has a, a uh, it's like <laughs> it's like a fucking movie, you know, when they got the script and you know the actors are getting in 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 uh in their fucking place and shit, and they're they're they're, they're memorizing their lines. She already got lines for you. She already got, she was like, okay, well he's this character, so I'm gonna play this character today with him to play along with this bullshit. And 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 again, a lot of this stuff is conscious, but there's all it's also subconscious sometimes Ooh. where it's so deep embedded in them because they've been through this runaround before in the first place. So they're just going along for the ride. You understand? But again, the, what comes with that ride is the drama and the BS from the lies. You see what I'm saying? So that's always going to follow at some point while you're doing, because remember, she's still, it's like this. Imagine when you watch a movie, right? You know, like a person watches a sad movie they might cry. A person watches a comedy, they'll laugh. Well, a person watches a scary movie, they might get scared or whatever, right? So you creating the lie is like her watching the movie. She's still going to get caught up in the emotion. So the more that you lie and, and talk this BS and get her into a certain state, if you do get her there and she knows that you're lying, but she's going along for the ride, that is still going to make her respond to you in a way where drama can happen and all that other stuff. Because you are creating the world where she's investing in in this moment and all that is on lies. But again, you're going to get the short end of the stick at the end of the day when all that shit, you know, falls down. But but Steve, what's your thoughts on that, man? You know, uh, uh, there are two things guys need to understand. Number one, it's just like when they call into the show. Mm. If you and I can recognize their story. Right. Before they fin finish their first or their first sentence or their first question. Right. What do you think the woman knows? And this is what they don't understand. See, women are walking fucking lies. They hate right. themselves. They, they fucking hate themselves. They look in the mirror every day. They hate themselves. So what they do is they put on a mask of lies, mm -hmm. weave, uh, eyelashes, nails, all this shit, makeup. All this shit to cover up their lie, which is really their truth, but they cover up their lies. Mm -hmm. So they're the masters of lies and deception, Lucario. Right, exactly. So what happens is, is that when you open your mouth, because she has met you before, 
she's already playing you. It, it's like she's inviting. See, we get the sexual invite, Lucario, from a woman. Right. Their invite is my bitch, my chauffeur, mm. my dinner, my, my bank account invite, where they begin to get played from the moment they open their mouth. See, women are smart enough to play dumb. Exactly. But also exactly. smart enough to get what they want from a man, or excuse me, a male, no difference. I didn't mean to disrespect you. A male <laughs> that that will think that he can lie his way. Because like you're saying, you as you lie, you've got to play a character. And mm -hmm. that means every day, Lucario, you've got to keep playing that character exactly. every single day where you and I, we don't play characters because we, we embody what the fuck we are. Mm -hmm. so what throws the woman off. See, women are so busy getting the lies. That's they they're they're they they're used to this. They're used to it coming from left and coming from right. Mm. But what intrigues them about men like us is that we come straight at them. See, women aren't used to the straight at. They're only used to what's coming from the side because guess what? They do they sidebar shit. They right. beat on the bush, walk on eggshells. They they want to have sex with her. So instead of set, letting her know what they want, they think by feeding her, they're going to get what they want. And then they get mad at the woman for telling them that I don't want that. As soon as she, as soon as she knows you want to fuck real quick, she knows you want to fuck, mm. but she's like this. Okay. You want to fuck, but why would I want to fuck somebody who can't even stand on who he is? Right. Exactly. Right? You, you, you think I'm stupid enough to know that, you really want to fuck me. I know you want to fuck me. As soon as you said hello, you want to fuck me. Mm. But yet, you're trying to play a role. Mm. I, I know this role. Oh, but that then it, then it goes down. Lack of experience in the bedroom. Lack mm. of experience in talking to the woman. Lack of experience in standing on your square. Lack right. of experience in being assertive, being dominant, knowing what you want. So she's like, okay, well, if you want to play, let's play. But mm -hmm. I promise you, when we get done playing, I will be the victor in this, and you guys are going to be my bitch, mm -hmm. or you're going to get frustrated, or what? Be my friend, and I'll keep you around, or you'll get mad. But no matter what happens, you're not going to win in this game because they know that part of the game, Lucario. That's facts. And let's um, I'm gonna get to four four seven in the, in the, in the, um in a call real quick. I just want to say this real quick. Guys, got to understand that you know. Women have a, a filtering system. Oh, dude. You understand what I'm saying? And they have to do this to save time. So again, just like how, okay, for example, if we go into a bar, club, or whatever, we see we see some girls in, in the club at a bar, right? Mm -hmm. Just you looking at them, just off their looks, you're like, all right, I, I'd smash her. That one, I don't know. This one, hell no. I ain't never, I ain't never, I wouldn't touch her with my, with my enemy's dick. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like no, you understand, so you already have that filtering system of yeah, I do her, won't do her. You understand? So women have the same filtering system, but it's it's even deeper, meaning that it's based off of behavior also. So a woman might see you think you're physically attractive and all that other stuff, but the behavior is really the filtering system. So if you're acting needy and weird and fucking scared. She's like, okay, I can't fuck with this guy because what that means is is that if he's acting needy and weird and scared and all that other stuff. The last guy that I fucked with who, who was needy, weird, and scared, he was terrible in bed. You understand? Or he, mm -hmm. you know, he was stalking me. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So once I see this, that he's like this, I automatically, I'm gone. You understand what I'm saying? Or if she talks to the guy and then she hears the same bullshit ass lies that she heard from the last five, six guys, she's like, okay, this motherfucker lying. Because the last five, six guys said this exact type of shit and they just met me. So how the fuck are they know they, they know they feel this way about me? They just met me. They on they on some BS. So that's her filtering. Now again, she can make a choice whether or not to fuck with you or not, but uh, understand that she knows on that level, okay, I'll go along with this ride because it's it's you know it's gonna be some attention. But remember, at the end of the day, when she get caught up in it and you get that drama on the back end. You ain't got nobody to blame but yourself. Because, see, when you're honest with a chick, what happens is, it's one, it's refreshing because it's like either they, they've they never really met a guy that was honest or they only there was only far and few in between. Or what, And so what happens is that you're like a whole different motherfucker. You understand? So now she's intrigued, like, oh, shit, let me see what this dude's really about. And so what happens is that that's a whole 
another different type of environment and situation that she's never been in or hardly has ever been in. And that from there, you understand what I'm saying? She's just getting the real. So whatever it is, it is. You understand? And so when you're starting from that place of honesty, right? She has something authentic to follow. When you're starting from a place of lies, you understand? She has an authenticity to follow. And then therefore she's going to start being on some bullshit because you created the bullshit. Remember, women follow men at all times. So if she, she's either going to follow you in truth or follow you in lies, you understand? And if you follow, if she follows you in lies, you're leading her astray, which again is going to give you negative results in the back end. You understand what I'm saying? This is what you guys got to understand. Yeah, let's take, I guess we'll take a call, answer question, call question, because we got a few questions, but go ahead. All right, cool, that's what's up. So let's go to 447, and then 818 after that. 447, what's popping? Who this? Hello, what's going on, brother? What up? Um, I'm calling from London. What's going on? Yeah, what's good, man? I spoke to you about, well, I spoke to you about a couple of months ago. I just wanted to call you back and uh, give you props to you and Steve. Mm -hmm. um, I've been following you for about three years now. Mm -hmm. Um, I was I was part of the uh, Bad Boy membership. I was um, I was on the membership for a few months. Mm -hmm. Um, I I, I come out of it, but obviously I'm gonna get back on it. Um, and also Steve, man, thank you very much. Um, you guys are really helping guys out here. Mm -hmm. Um, guys are calling every day asking about receipt, so I just want to call in and you know show like a real life receipt. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, since I started listening to you. Everything changed for me, my mm -hmm. mindset, mm -hmm. um, my confidence. Obviously, I listen to you and Miles and also Steve. I know a lot of guys can't take Steve's um, the way of presenting, but that's that's how real men talk. Mm -hmm. And I grew, I grew up around people where, like even my dad, he was very kind of, I wouldn't say aggressive, but very assertive. Mm -hmm. And that's that's like real stuff. So a lot of guys, they... they they kind of find it difficult to take that information, but mm. that's that's just how it is. And once again, thank you, um, guys. If you if you don't like Steve, just listen to the message. Mm. Don't worry about how he <laughs> delivers the message. Just re listen to the message, and mm. you see how. Obviously, if you listen to his shows, you you hear how people call in and say, "Steve, you changed my life." This and the other. So just take that. And uh, thank you once again, brother. Appreciate you guys. That's what's up, man. We appreciate you, my brother. We appreciate you, my brother. Keep doing your thing, man. That's what's up. I love to hear that. I love to hear it. So let's. We're gonna answer this question, and then we're gonna go to eight one eight. So, uh, Jalen says, when you say vetting a woman, uh, exactly what do you mean? Just want a clear understanding. So, vetting a woman basically is you testing her and training her to become the type of woman you want her to be in your life. If you're gonna even take her on in that in that manner. So, let's say you're. you're chilling with a girl, you hooking up with her, you're dating or whatever. And what it is, is that if you see some potential in her for this woman to, you know, like, let's say be with you for like either a longer term, doesn't necessarily have to be anything too crazy, but as far as like her being your girlfriend or whatever it is, vetting her is, is just basically on a consistent basis, right? Um, seeing how cooperative she is, seeing how compliant she is, seeing if she follows your direction, see if, if she's uh, you know, not going to be bitching at you and, and doing a bunch of fuck shit. You understand what I'm saying? And so I, I usually say vet a chick for at least a year, you understand, before you even make her your girlfriend. And and what that means is that you're training her and you're testing her. So the training is getting her used to dealing with you in the capacity that you need her to deal with you in. You understand? So let's say you're like, you know what, for a woman to be my girl, um, she's going to have to let's say simple, like she's going to have to like cook and clean and, you know, help me with my business, whatever it is. Right. So you have her, you know, you put her through those tasks, you understand what I'm saying? And then you see how she does and see if she's going to do that on a consistent basis. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, when you're, when you're testing her, it's just really the seeing how she reacts to the training, you understand, see how she reacts to doing this over time. And if she starts acting all funny style after a little while, then she failed the test. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And then therefore she can't become your girlfriend. You see what I mean? So that's that's the thing. But Steve, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, a uh, first shout out to K Zag in the in the in the building. Zag in the building. In the building. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shout out to K Zag in 20. It's popping, bro. Vet, vetting a woman is easy for us, but it'll be hard for you because a lack of sense of self. You mm -hmm. have to really know what see. 
most see people don't understand that Lakari and I it, it, we don't even make it about the pussy because that's already part of that's coming that's mm. that's part of her bringing those fruits to our our, our throne mm. but as men we got to ask ourselves what the fuck can you do for me mm. what are you bringing to my kingdom that I, and then remember we can we are self sufficient men but what can you do for me that look? Because remember, we see we come in with this mindset: women ain't special. So you you got ass and titties. Okay, well, well, so does she, and mm-hmm. she and that one over there does, and all these women they all have the same thing. They all got the ass and titties. But where is your character? What mm-hmm. are you bringing? Can you cook for me? Can you clean? Can mm-hmm. you wash dishes? Can you shut the fuck up? Right. You go find women for us. Do do you know when I'm having a good day where you bring me my favorite beer or my favorite liquor? Uh, mm-hmm. Do you know when I need a back massage, you give me a back massage and don't talk? Can you sit while I'm sitting and thinking? Can you just sit in the corner and don't say anything and keep with? These are things that uh, drive women. Now, remember, like LaCar said, not to be my woman, but you get a roster spot. Yo, do you you are rewarded mm-hmm. with the roster spot. So that means on the roster spot through the vetting, you get some of my time because right. I because I don't give my time to just anybody. Mm-hmm. You have to earn that shit. You gotta slay the motherfucking Minotaur. Put that motherfucking head on the top of Mount Kilimanjaro. Get your ass back down and cook me a motherfucking meal with a fucking smile on it. No mm-hmm. attitude, no lips. So. When, when you're saying vetting, it's not just vetting. You got to vet yourself first to know mm-hmm. what it is your expectations are. Exactly. You can vet what you expect from the woman. But if you're making it about sex, you've already lost because that should come with the woman, Lucario. That's facts. And shout out to uh, Scary Perry with the $10 super chat. So shout out to Stephen Lucario, my brothers from another mother. Salute to the chat room as well. Soaking up this free game and get those likes up. That's what's up. Let's go. Let's go to eight one eight real quick. All right. Eight one eight. What's popping? Who this? Hey, what's up, man? My name is Rich. How's everything? Chilling, chilling. What's going on? Good, good. So I have a, a question for you guys in the regards of uh, what is the next step. That is the question. But for me, at least. But I wanted to give you a little back into the story because that's a very vague question and I'm sure you guys wouldn't understand. So basically what happened, um, I'm trying to get my, my love life figured out right now. I believe in, in life, there's three pillars to have an abundant life, which is your health, your wealth, and your love life. So my other two pillars, I finally got it down pretty solid uh, above average for most. No, uh, you're doing it, sir. So you're now, pillars, sir, to get- sir, your three pillars should be me, myself, and I. You got it wrong. You, you know, those are your three pillars. Okay. Well, that, that was my pillar is me, my, me, and your fifth pillar is myself. And your sixth <laughs> pillar is I. So you, your, your, those are not pillars. You, you, you've already lost because you're making it about external things versus making it about yourself. But please continue, sir. Yes, thank you for that. Um, so I always thought to myself, like, okay, in order to uh, secure a woman, you kind of have to be a man first. So I'm like, all right, let me get my resources in check. Let me move out of my parents' house. Let me have some coin to actually be able to feel better about myself as an individual. And I finally got it. And months have been passing by. And nothing has really changed as far as my love life goes. Wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I want you to notice something, guys. I want you to know. I'm so glad you called. I'm so glad you called because I want you to notice what he said, guys. He said, I got my, I moved out of my mom's house. I started making some coin and nothing still has happened in my love life. Right. <laughs> you understand? And I'm so glad you called because yeah. this is the issue. Cause a lot of guys on the internet who, who, who watch a lot of these videos that's going around saying, getting your money up, get this and get that. And then, then my, my, my women life and women are going to flock to me and they're going to choose. See, understand. And this is what Steve was talking about earlier. We said me, myself and I, you have to focus on you. You got to focus on who you are because that's what actually makes women want to fuck with you. Yes. And, and so what happens is, is this, is that you need to, you need to, you need to understand what makes you interesting. Like, for example, if I asked you, like Steve always says, <laughs> what do you say? Like, why does, why would a woman want to fuck you? 
That's true. <laughs> yeah, what, what 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 would your answer to that be? Her life gets better when I'm in it. <laughs> Financially, like the growth, the growth. The growth. I'm always evolving and growing, and if she has the same mindset, she'll get better too. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just, I'm glad you had an answer for that, but because most dudes don't. But, but that's the thing. You, you got. I'm telling you, the money and all of that stuff is good as far as it pertains to you and your own self, in your own, in your own life. But when you're looking at that in the context of trying to attract women and a woman being attracted to you, you understand? That's not going to really make it work. So, and this is the reason why. What happens is, is that when you make it about the money and you make it about your accomplishments, you make it about your house and your cars and all this other, whatever, any, all these other things, what you're doing is that you're putting yourself on the back burner. And so when you're trying to attract women or get with women, right? They're not seeing you. They're seeing your money. They're seeing your cars. They're seeing all this other stuff. But guess what? Every other guy or almost every other guy they run into has the same shit. This other guy has a car. This other guy has money. This other guy has his shit together. So what makes you different than the other guy who has his shit together? You see what I'm saying? Now, the difference is, is who you are. So you have to, this is what I'm saying, where you have to put that in the, as the focus and you have to bring that to the situation when you're dealing with women. You see what I'm saying? Let me ask you this question. Uh, do you, do you like approach women? Do you do online dating? Like what's your, what's your process of, of what you're doing to actually acquire the chicks and get the shit popping? So during COVID, everything was closed. I was uh, basically working out, going to the gym. That was my only source of doing it. Mm -hmm. Then COVID opened and bars and shit opened. I started going out, uh, probably used alcohol as a huge clutch or crutch. Sorry. Um, probably still due to a sense I have a kind of a little drinking problem for the most part. And then my friend that has his online dating on lock kind of showed me his, what he's doing. And that really intrigued me to start doing that. So what is he doing the photography and I'm trying to pop that off. Wait, but wait, 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 really wait, hidden for the most part. So no, like wait, 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 like doing everything. And it's wait, like, wait, wait. Hey, look, wait, you're going into photography for pussy. Your, your friends doing photography like, to get uh, pussy. Photo like oh no, he was saying he was saying photo shoots for, for online dating. Uh so he said he'd been yeah, taking yeah, good yeah, pictures yeah. for online dating. That's what he meant when he saw yeah, my photo. Here's the problem, Carl. His <laughs> pictures, his picture's not his personality. Your picture might get your foot in the door, but right. as soon as he talks to your drunk alcoholic ass, she ain't gonna fuck with you, brother. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. But I'm just uh, saying, you know. I wanted to ask, like, what do you feel is the next step? Right. Well, I that, kind of feel like I'm doing it all, but it's not hidden. Right. But that's the thing. You're not doing it all. See, yeah. that's the thing. Like, because, because first of all, like you said, you're saying, well, I'm getting drunk and all this because you're, you're trying to get that liquid courage for, for you to approach. So what I'm saying is, are you actively approaching and talking to women? Like how many women have you approached yeah. and talked to this week? Oh, none. That's, the, that's my point. This, this <laughs> week, last week might be a different story, but this week, last week, how many did you do last week? Uh, probably like for the week total, probably like 10. Okay, okay that's better than nothing, but it's, it's still <laughs> big, dog, here, big dog. This, and again, you, you like, a, you're like everybody else, and it is no knock on you. You don't know game, and mm. what you think is game is not game. The only way you can learn game is following someone that teaches game. And not just listening to a bunch of YouTubes. You're not part of the bad boy membership. You're not part of the man mindset. So you choose not to learn game. Mm. If you put that effort into learning photography or whatever you're saying, or drinking alcohol like you do into game, you wouldn't have this problem. But you're putting game on the back burner because like Lucario said, you're making it everything about other than you. You make it about your money. You got out of your parents' place and all this other stuff. But you don't even know you to even show a woman why she should be fucking with you. What makes you what makes you so special that a woman should fuck with you, sir? Uh that's a that's a good question. Yeah, that's that's right. Okay, yeah. there you go. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. If you can't answer that question before you walk out your door, big dog. 
then you need to learn game. And that's what mm-hmm. Lakaro and I keep trying to tell you, young guys. You can't cheat it. You can't go around it. Mm. You got to learn it, young man, Lucario. Right, and that's and that's all he's saying is that. See, the thing is this: is that you know, because and and out, out of those ten women, did you did you did anything happen with any of those ten women you talked to last week? No, nah, it was it was it was it was all a bust. Let's just say that. Okay, and so and so this is what we're saying. What we're saying is is that part of the part, like for example, part of learning game is understanding that you gon' you gonna have to talk to more than ten women. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? in that week you feel what i'm saying that's like that's like a one one and a half chicks a day or some shit you understand what i'm saying and so everything so this is what i'm saying it's 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 learning about a lot of different things it's learning about what to do you understand what not to do you understand it's also learning about yourself how because look for example you still don't really understand how you feel you understand about rejection in that case meaning a lot of times what happens is guys need to understand how they feel about rejection so that they'll know the amount of work they need to do to get past the rejection. Yeah. So for example, a guy, one guy might get rejected and he'll, he'll be so fucking broken that he'll, he'll be scared to approach a woman ever. He's like, well, fuck it. I quit. I done talk to this girl. She ain't <laughs> want to talk to me. It's over. Another guy might be like, man, I got rejected and shit, you know, that shit kind of stung, but I, I talked to two or three more girls. So it's two different guys, two different experiences. Now the second guy, he's gonna be, he's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a little bit more easier for him to push through because he still kept going after the rejections versus the first guy who stopped. So the thing is, you need to put yourself in situations to understand yourself in those situations to see how much work you need to put in to get to the state, the stages where you need to, we want to go. This is why people come to us for personal coaching because one guy might need more help than another. But we don't know how much help you'll need unless you're putting yourself in these situations and actually taking the game seriously. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's the thing. You got it. You gotta you gotta understand that the game is deep, but it, it it all is about focusing on you, not your resources, not your 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 material shit and all of that. All that other stuff is cool. That's cute, but that's not any. That's that's like you know icing on the cake. But you still gotta have the cake. You see what I'm saying? And the cake is the game. You feel me? So that's what it is. Right. You're trying to learn on a you're on a surface level, right? A lot of guys are on a surface level. They don't understand how deep it is. They they think it's just you can pick up and play. It's like, you know, they think they can ask a question. How do I how do I do open heart surgery in a question to us? They right. Can, they can do it. And it and it doesn't work that way. You you got to be a student of it to be a part of it. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people choose not to be students. They choose to put all their time, energy, and effort into YouTubes or into peel thinking mm-hmm. or into making excuses. But the ones that come out on top are always going to be students of the game, young man. Right. So I would suggest to you, brother, hit us up. Go to realgamenotheory.com or hit up manmindset.com. The manmindset.com or badboymembership.com and, and, and holler at us. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, wait, let me go to this. Right, sounds good. Let, let me right. skip that question and go. To All right, brother. I'm going to holler at you, man. All this, right. This, this, All this right. Is why these motherfuckers lose. All right. Well, he said, he said, <laughs> women lie about everything. Why should we be honest when she lies about what she feels, what she wants, needs, etc.? This is oh, it, man. This, 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 don't worry. Um, this is why you are a unequivocal, uh, undeniable bitch. Fuck what these women do. But the problem is you want to say, okay, because women lie, we should lie. Okay. Right. All right. So because women suck dick, I guess you should be sucking dick too, right? <laughs> if women suck dick and lick balls, then we men should be licking balls and sucking dick. Right. This is how the fuck you sound. And this is why you, every time, you want to know why he loses? It's the same loser motherfucker that always asks those loser ass questions because here you are, you make everything about these motherfucking women. I'm sorry, the car, you got it. Now that's fast. That's what I'm saying. Do it. See, do fast. This is what happens when guys don't understand their value as men. Really? You know what I'm really? saying? See, the reason why he's saying that too is because he thinks that we're equal. You understand? That's that's a we're equal question. Oh, we're all equal. We're all fifty. We're the same. No, we're not the same, brother. You have to lead and guide women. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? 
You have to tell women what to do in order for a relationship to work. You understand? So you can't be like, well, they do it, so I should do it. You understand? That's like, like, bro, y'all got to understand is there's different levels to this shit. That's like you being at work or, or let's say you own a company and your employee <laughs> calls out sick and they play and they, you know, they just want to call out sick because they just want to stay home and chill. And you're like, oh, well, my employee called out sick. Why don't I just call out sick and not just go to work and, 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 and deal with the business? No, your fucking business is going to fail. You understand? If you disregard your business or you just come to work and don't and slack off and don't do shit, you understand what I'm saying? Your company is going to fail because you own the company. So since you own the company, you can't do the same thing your employee does. I can't believe he said that. I'm sorry, we got other calls. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to let's go to um shit. 718. <laughs> 718, what's popping? Who this? Hey, what's going on, guys? How y'all doing? What's popping? What's going on? So I had a question to ask y'all. Um, what's the ratio on pursuing um, um, a woman uh, as far as like texting and like calling? So what's the ratio of what? Of suing a woman? Suing a woman? Uh, pursuing a woman. Oh, pursuing? I think he says, oh, right. I was <laughs> like, what? <laughs> that, that, that's your <laughs> I was like, you about to sue a woman? Yeah, yeah. People court or some shit? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what was, okay, what was it? What was it? What did you say again? I'm what's sorry. Question again? I know it's pursuing now, but what was your question? Yeah, what's the ratio of, of um, how much should I text her? How much should I call her? Mm. Um, pretty much, she, she's calling me, mm. you know, um, but should I like text her here and there? Like, how, how, how should I go about doing that? Well, bro, what, let me ask you a question. What do you want to do with this chick? Hey, thank you. Um, I do want to make her my, my girlfriend. Wait, wow. how, how long you known this girl for? Two months. Why, Two why months. do you want her to be your girlfriend? You, you know, I'm, you know, just to have somebody, because I, I think we have good vibes together. Uh, oh. We feel good together. Man, hey, how's this? How's the sex? <laughs> no, he ain't fucking yet. Yeah, uh, the sex is good. The thing, see, the sex is good. The thing is that I still, you know, I don't want to lose that interest level, so I want to make sure I, I, I nip that in the butt first. How many times you fucked? You know, I want to keep things. Yeah, you fucked, man. Uh, four times. Four times. Okay, four times in two months. So, bro, so, bro, let me ask you. Let me ask you this. Um, okay, <laughs> the thing is this. What happened? What's happening now, right? Is right. you're in a, you're in a situation. You like the chick or whatever, and now you're worried that you might lose her. And that's the that's the issue. Is the issue is is that worrying about losing her is usually the thing that's gonna make you lose her, because then you're gonna start doing weird ass right. shit <laughs> to try to, right. to try to keep her interested. You understand? See, this is the thing. Right. I mean, let me let me tell you guys how to keep a woman interested. It's real simple. You understand what I'm saying? It's real fucking simple. <laughs> the way to keep a woman interested, right, is to not try to keep her interested. Just do do you. You understand? So what that means is this. You're saying what's the ratio to call her or text her? Only call or text her when, when you, whenever you want to fucking see her and, and hook up with her, right? But again, you should be doing stuff in your life anyway to where you're not calling or texting her every five fucking minutes but you hit her up just to be like, yo, what's good? When you free, like, let's let's get together and hook up uh, next week or some shit. And she come through. You have some fun. You you smash and all this other stuff. And then you already said you smashed her four times, right? So what did you do those four times in order to smash her those four times? You just text her and told her to come through, right? Yeah, text her. We went out. We went, we went out, you know, came out to the crib. Okay. Yeah. So, 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 so what else are you? So are you texting her? And calling her during the week and shit, talking about how's your day. And... She, 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 she's doing that to me. Okay, so that's good. So she's the one doing that to you. So listen, all you got to do is if she's texting you and saying, "Oh, hey, what's up? How's your day?" You're like, "Oh, well, my day is cool," and all that other stuff. And then whenever you're ready to see her, just hit her up and say, "Yo, come through." And then all you do is you just keep doing that. You understand? And like I said. Keep doing that. And if you see this girl as the type of girl that you think would be like wifey material, you still got to put her through 
some shit because right now it's been two months. It sounds like you just fucking her. What ha- what else has like did you what else has been done to show you that she would be a good girlfriend? She she cooked for me one time. Well, well call call her, call her, what? call her. Wait, Mr. Safety. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. Mr. Safety. Okay. Call her. Do you really want to know what to do? I do. Are you sure you want to know what to say do? No, call her. Say no. Say no. <laughs> Are you sure you want to know what to do, caller? Listen, uh, you know, I, I want to keep the interest. I want to keep oh, the oh, 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 keep it. Are you are you ready to do what we're going to tell you to do right now? Are you sure you want to do it? Uh, 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 I don't know, man. I don't know. See, you you say what you want you want us to solve it, Mr. Safety. Just get I'ma tell him, Mr. Safety. Hold on. Do you really want to make it interesting? Yeah, I do. All right. All right. I knew he's gonna do it, Mr. Safety. <laughs> Click over right now, call her fucking ass, and tell her to come over and suck your dick. Lick your balls and give up the pussy right now. Oh man! I mean, you wait, but you. Wait, 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 I'm, so, wait, I'm sorry. Wait, you don't want to fuck, right? You don't want your dick sucked, right? You, you don't want your balls licked. I, I do, but like I said, you know, I'm, I'm more like I'm more like I rather. Have that step process. Hold on, hold on, wait a second, wait a second. Didn't you just say you fucked this girl four times? Yeah, four times. So why are you scared to call her? Why are you scared to call and tell her come over and suck your dick? Because Do I don't think I don't think we're at that point yet where oh, I wait, 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 wait. When you were excuse me, I'm sorry, when you have an intercourse with her, because you weren't fucking. Did she put her mouth on your penis and lick your scrotum, sir? Yes. So then you could call her and tell her to suck your dick again. Go ahead. Call her. Tell her to suck my dick. I want you to get, hey, baby, how's work? Good. Okay, whatever. Okay, this is what I want you to do. When you get off work, I want you to come over and suck my dick and lick my balls. Call her and tell her that. She already did it, right? To be honest with you, no, nah, to be honest with you, I, I think I think it's kind of it's, it's uh wait. a little bit too early for me to wait, be too, too wait, you fucked like, you four early. times early. early. I've been you, fucking around for two months. You fucked the four times. What are you talking about? Early. You, you've seen her butthole, right? <laughs> so I mean, what, what are you tripping on? You've seen her body four times. So why can't you just tell her to come suck my dick and lick my balls? And and also you gotta understand something. This and this and this. You want her to be that, a, that might turn her off though, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh, listen, let me ask you a question. Do you want this girl to be a girlfriend or not? I do. Okay, do you okay? So you know what you know what part of having a girlfriend entails? That girl needs to know how to follow your directions and follow your lead. Correct? Correct. So if you're worried that she's not gonna or she's going to get turned off, or she's going to feel a certain type of way, then cool, because this is just this will just show you that she's the type of girl who should be your girlfriend. Because if she's the type of girl who should be your girlfriend, she should be glad that you're telling her to come through and suck your dick, correct? Yeah, lick your balls, brother. So why don't you go ahead and call? We'll wait. You got 20 seconds. Click over. We'll be quiet. We Hey, you got... Go ahead. And say yeah, listen, I got listen. I had listen. I have I have, I have too much respect for. Her. But then, and then you're in the wrong show. <laughs> Hi, so long. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> we'll see you soon. <laughs> yo, cool. You got you, you got yo, bro. You got jokes. You got to be a comedian, bro. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, bro! Seriously, <sighs> it's all right, dog. Hey, everybody can't be a man, dog. It's okay. Look, look, look. All right, <laughs> He's sucking somebody's dick right now, and it ain't yours. I'm sorry. All right, caller, we gonna holler at you, man. Oh, right, we got a question here before we <laughs> let's, let's let's do this question before we get to the calls. Um, so he says, why is it 
uh, throughout our childhood, adolescent years and early 20s, society trains boys to be beta male simps to girls. Is this to keep the economy running for females? <laughs> I mean, well, that's part of it. But the thing is this, when you when you get older and you be, you're becoming a man, right? It's it's, you know, part of it is that you guys have to come to realization that you being a man means you do what you do regardless of what society is saying or whatever anybody else is telling you what you do. This is what we, we try to teach you guys. We're not teaching you to be us. We're not teaching you to, to, to mimic us or somebody else. We're saying, look, be you. Understand yourself. You understand? And so that's that's what it is about becoming a man is that this is how I am. These are This is my rules. This is my world. And this is how I do shit. You understand what I'm saying? And if a woman wants to be in that world, she's going to either adhere to that or not. And if she's not, then she could go. So even the call that I just called, like he's, he was scared because he's like, oh, well, I'm going to turn her off. And I respect that. I don't know. It, like, bro, even if he was to get with that girl and that girl was to be his girlfriend, she will run him. him unfortunately, yeah. this is going to be a wrap. You understand? Tony, there's two problems with this. If one, one thing you're going wrong is you're worried about other men. It's not society. It's really a question for you and why you are being trained by society. As grown men, it has to be a point where you cut the umbilical cord off and you have common sense. Now, common sense isn't so common with young men today because a lot of men are gullible, naive, and disillusioned about the game. It, see, people are allowed to do whatever they want. Even And I'm going to say this. Even those people across the street with all that red pill bullshit mm -hmm. are allowed, that's their amendment right, to put up videos on lying, manipulation, and crying like women. It's you that chooses to either believe in the bullshit and listen to it or learn real games. So society is always going to put things out there. It is what you choose to take in is the, the, the question at hand. It's not the society. It's the individual. Lakari, what say you, brother? No, nah, that's facts. And, and that's what we're saying. This is what we, we try to get you guys to understand is that you got to look at yourself. This is why Steve was like, it's about me, myself, and I. You understand? This is why we say the truth is inside you. It's about you. You see what I mean? So you got to make sure that at the end of the day, you recognize and realize that it is about you. The guys who don't recognize that and realize that they continue to adhere to whatever society is saying. And this is why they're being run and led by their women. Cause they they don't know no better. You know what I'm saying? And it just is what it is. But let's go to uh, we'll go to nine five four six seven eight and then four one two. So nine five four, what's going on? Man, you guys are beyond ridiculous. We're not lying to bitches to imitate bitches. We're lying because okay, all right. Well, lying, lying, because lying gives us lying gives us the unfair advantage in the dating market. Lying, lying. Wait, wait. Lying okay. gives you the unfair advantage in the dating market okay so how many women do you have because of your lying how many women do you have because of your lying sir you mean in the rotation right now yeah sure just one okay so what was your lie that you got what was the lie that you told her to get her uh relationship okay and, and you're still with her right now right yeah, and I'm fucking other bitches. Oh. How, how long have you been with this woman? Three weeks. So can you call her right now and tell her to come suck your dick and lick your balls because you've already lied to her, so why not tell her another lie? <laughs> uh, well, you don't want to you don't wanna, you don't want to lose your rotation. Well, no, well, who what, what what do you care if you're lying? You what what you can just get another girl and lie. What is the big deal? You can find another one to lie to. So why don't you call this one and tell her to come suck your dick and lick your balls? Because you want a relationship. Know, this, dating, this, this, this dating market is horrible. So wait, how, but how is it but how is it horrible? You just said just you just gotta lie. Why don't you just lie? That's yeah, why don't you lie? Go ahead and call her and lie. Tell her you want to marry her and you want your dick sucked. How about that lie? Come on, this man took it. You, you, do, do you not see it? Do y'all not see what y'all doing? You guys are taking some very extremities. Put like this: there's yes. not a billionaire alive who has not stepped on somebody's neck. So, bruh, if you want to get ahead, you got to do some fuck shit. How, how old are you? How old are you? <laughs> how, how old are you, young man? I'm in my thirties. You're in your thirties. 
So you're a 30 year old motherfucker that ain't got no pussy that wants to lie to women. So if you want to lie, then okay, here's the thing. If you want to lie, then why don't you just keep lying? Call the woman up, right? Look, 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 look. Educate us on lying. You don't want to lose the rotation. No, no, no. Call her and tell her some lies. Let us hear you. Yeah, we need to know. We want to learn. Tell her some lies. Because you, if you got a woman, you say you got a woman, call her up and tell her some lies so we can understand how it works. Right. We don't lie. We don't know what the fuck got to lie. It's but only you, one lie. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. All you got to do is say, hey, sweetheart, I love you. And you know what? I'm going to marry you. But let me ask you a question. So, so you're saying you lied to the girl to tell her you want a relationship just so you could fuck? Yes. Okay, so what happens when you meet a girl who just wants to fuck and then you tell her you want a relationship and then she don't fuck you because you didn't lie and told her you want a relationship? Well, I make sure to ask them first. Ask them so what? whatever they say, then I'm just, I'm, I'm just going off that. So just, okay, so so you ask a woman what does she want, and she says she wants a relationship. So then you tell her you want a relationship too. Yeah. So how do you know she's not lying about wanting a relationship, but just wanting to fuck? Well, hey, if she's lying, then hey. And then, and, and and that's why you ain't gonna get to fuck, and that's why you only fucking one girl. I don't know if you're fucking a girl, but call her. Let me ask you a question: What happens if you meet a woman and you lie to her? And she's into you and she wants to see you and y'all been texting and y'all been getting really close over the phone. And then you, you go over her house or she comes to your place and then she takes her, pulls her pants down, a dick falls out. What are you going to do then? Come on, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Is she allowed to lie then to you? Is she allowed to, look, wait. Why should she tell you that she's a man if you're lying to her about you being a man? That's not a thing. But no, that, that was the same thing. I mean, you pull her pants down, a dick fall out. She'd be like, oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> Wait, you lied to me, so what was wrong with me lying to you? That's not a she. I mean, hey, as my homeboy would say, the game got to be played. I can't stop nobody else from playing the game. Well, I'm going I'm I'm to put in some cheat codes as well. What the fuck? How do you know the game when you don't even have any women? Why call the woman up and tell her you want your dick sucked? If you got this woman that you lied, we'll be quiet. Let's hear you lie to her. I, we just want to hear you lie to her. Yeah. I just want to hear it happen. You already, you already know the lie I told to her. I, like I said, it ain't uh, like you're doing this picture over, game. Click over and talk to her and tell her that you love her, lie. Tell her you want the relationship, lie. Yeah. And say, when well, you going to come over and suck my dick? You being ridiculous right now, man. Wait, wait, but if you have, but wait, I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> if you have these women that you say or your rotation, you don't think women want to hear that kind of nasty talk? Come on, man. They love hearing that. I'm Come not going to. So. Probably but, do, but I'm not going to sit around and overdo it. I've already played my hand. I've already overdone it by <laughs> lying to the woman. All you got to do is call well, her. But, what, but bro. Why why is your, your method so like faulty and shaky? I, I thought you know what I'm saying? Like if, if lying is the shit that mm -hmm. that, that helps you out, then Dude, then why no, is why is there no, no substance to it? Plan when it comes to women, you know that. No, no, why no there's, there's, listen, there's, there's, listen, there's a listen, back, there's a listen, being honest listen, how long you been with this girl? I've only been smashing three weeks. Okay, I've been with, I've been with my woman for freaking 15 years, bro. You know what I'm saying? So and, and I didn't oh. do that off a lie. You understand what I'm saying? So hmm. what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, where's the long term situation where a chick is really down for you through your lies? That's what I want to know. There probably is it, but this bitch, you know, she's an American woman. Who who gives well, a fuck about all these with these out here? You tell us in the chat room, our chat room dog. We all want to know <laughs> what is so special about a woman. That you gotta lie to her. What makes her so? Can she walk on water or make like turn touch shit into gold? What is so special about a woman or intimidating to you about a woman where you gotta portray a different role? You gotta be somebody else. Mm -hmm. what, what's so special about it? Please teach all of us. What is so special about these women where you gotta be somebody else? Yeah, it's the pussy. It ain't the bitch.
Oh, so oh, it's the put. Ah, uh, see, it's the pussy. But a pussy special. Is that what you're Hey, that that pussy, that pussy could change your motherfucker's life, man. <laughs> it changed your life. <laughs> how did how did the pussy change your life? Tell me. <laughs> Look, let's just say let's just say there's a virgin out there. Let's just say an incel is out there, right? If mm. a bad ass bitch give that incel some pussy just out of nowhere, that motherfucker going. <laughs> He, he gonna man up and be like, fuck this shit. I ain't gonna be waiting around waiting for choosing signals. I'm gonna go holler at these bitches. Who, who waits for choosing signals? Where, where the fuck is a choosing signal? He's not gonna do that. Oh, man. He's not gonna do that. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, like see, this is, the, this is the problem, man. A lot of y'all worship women so much, and this is where the it's lies pussy, come not in. The bitch. No, no, no. You're worshiping the woman. You're worshiping the woman, man. You're worshiping the woman. Because the thing is, is that if you just wanted the pussy. You would just tell a girl, "Hey, listen, I want to fuck." Yeah, that's it. If you want to thank you, look at just be like, "Yo, I want to fuck." What's good? That's it. Uh, you, see, you, see? you don't think you don't think you don't think a lot of us have tried that already? No, 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 no. We mean us. Okay, like, okay. Brother, okay brother, 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 brother. If you listen to the show early, what did I tell you? As soon as you open your mouth, you tell us your story, and I can tell your story. You're a 30 year old male with no backbone, no balls. You have no rules, laws, and codes. You have no experience with women. You don't know how to talk, text, you don't know anything. So, what you got to do to cover all that up is you got to lie and portray that you're something else. Mm -hmm. That's your story. Okay. Right? That's why you lose. Okay, we, we, if, if I've approached, if I go, okay, if I go to a nightclub, right? Well, not just a nightclub. If I go to the strip, they got we got nightclubs and bars on both ends of the street. Mm. If I go out there one night, mm -hmm. and I all have fifty bitches, uh -huh. I all have fifty bitches with a straightforward approach. Uh -huh. If that bullshit doesn't work, if the straightforward bullshit doesn't work, it's like okay, man, I got to do what works. Lying, because I know that's gonna get and, and you know, and you know why you know why the straightforward approach don't work for you? Because <laughs> it ain't straightforward, motherfucker. Right? Because you don't you don't know who the hell you are. So who? So how, these chicks? These chicks? Oh, here you go. No, no, no. This, this, what the fuck does that even mean? What exactly. That, exactly. You don't, you don't, you don't even know what that means. Mean. Exactly. You don't know what that means. <laughs> exactly. You don't know what that means. What I'm saying is this: is that <clears throat> when you're talking to a girl, right? What happens is, like for example, let's say, let's say uh, a person comes up to me, right? Let's say you got a, a fucking uh, eighty year old. <laughs> like woman with a cane comes up to me and tries to rob me. You understand what I'm saying? She's shaking. You understand with her cane like this and all of that. And she's like, Hey, young man, give me your money. Right. Shut up, shut up. I might laugh at her. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to laugh at her. You understand? Because I'm like, I know this ain't you old lady. Get the fuck out of here. You understand what I'm saying? But if a, if a, if a big ass nigga come through with a gun, <laughs> and point it at me, then I'm gonna be like, all right, nigga, take my shit, my, my brother. Do what you gotta do. You understand what I'm saying? Because what I'm what, all I'm trying to illustrate is, is a different type of energy. You see what I mean? And so that energy is going to get a certain reaction out of me and out of the, the person that's receiving that energy. So what happens is when you approach women, because you lie, because you don't believe in yourself, because you're not confident, because you ain't got no mouthpiece, right? When you say that <laughs> shit to women. <laughs> They can tell that you're the type of guy who don't know what he's doing. Bullshit. Bro, you don't Bullshit. See, now you're just assuming at this point. You're assuming bro, at this point. Bro, wait, wait, bro, you wait, bro, where do you, bro, where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? What do you mean? I'm asking what you a question. Matter? I'm asking you a question. Where do you live? What state was city? Where do you live? What does it matter? Bruh. And you're a 30 year old man that can't answer a question. You we ain't asked for your fucking address. What, exactly. what, state, what, state, what state do you live in? Come on, man. You're 30 years old. Come on. You can do we have to you had to cut your apples for you? Come on, man. Speak up. Jesus Christ. Y'all wonder why you women don't want to fuck with y'all. Anyway, this what this what I'm, my, my location, my location tells you this, the name? this is what I'm trying to say. Have you ever have you ever walked? Have you ever had a homeless person come up to you and ask you for money? Yes. Okay. Have you ever seen a homeless person or was walking and you seen them in your vicinity and you tried to avoid them as you're about to walk up to them? Has that ever happened? Uh, 
unfortunately, I can't avoid them because I'm usually walking to the store and they're right there. No, so but I what I'm no, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, are you when you see them? You try to either walk past them real quick so they don't ask you nothing or anything like that. You try to not give eye contact or something like that. You ever did that? Okay, I see. Yes, and I see where I see. Right, where you ever, you ever, hold on, hold on, hold on. You ever had, hold on. You ever had a homeless person straight up ask you for money and you just ignore them? Yes. Have you ever had? If you have, you ever had money and told a homeless person, "I ain't got no money," and walk past them? I, I don't say that. I just say it's rough out here. Okay. My point is, you are the homeless man to these women. You understand what That's I'm saying? Incorrect. That's what I'm That's trying incorrect. to explain you to you. Giving women, you giving women, you giving women way too much credit. Bro, you, you tell, are. You're, you're, just, tell me. Wait, you're giving them way too much credit <laughs> because you got to be somebody. Look, you're giving them too much credit. You got to be somebody else to, to, to be in front of them. You got to, you listen. You have to conjure up a lie for a woman. You got wait, wait. Let me let me say it again, bro. You got to conjure up and be somebody else for somebody that bleeds once a month. Are you kidding me? You got, <laughs> are you serious? Oh, man, you trying to tell me? Uh, I can approach a woman with a straightforward approach, and she could tell I'm on some bullshit. But yet, when I lie, she falls for it. Come on, dude, your logic's not adding up, man. No, I didn't say she falls for it. If you was listening to the earlier part of the show, I said they know you lying. They just going along with it. You ever, you ever again? You ever heard? You ever heard of Derek Jackson? You ever heard of Derek Jackson? Bitches, but actually, bitches actually believe that. I, no, I no, 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 no. They know he's bullshitting. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nah. They been knew he was bullshitting. But what women do no, is because feminism is teaching the same thing. He just preaching what feminism bro, preaching. Bro, you gotta so understand. Bro, you gotta understand how women operate. Women want to believe. Is he from New York? What's this his area code? <laughs> this is why. This is why you could. You could listen. If you go, if you go on Clubhouse and any of these apps, right, and and they be like, oh, you know, these guys be simping. They be like, hey, queen, what's up, my beautiful sister? And they say that to every woman. They want to hear that shit. You understand what I'm saying? Women are not going to turn down a compliment. Yes, they love they love attention. Yes, we know that. Exactly. So the same. Okay. Notice when we talk about tricking. Notice how much dudes love to defend or deflect when we talk about tricking and act like they not tricking. They want to be like, no. Well, the girls they 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 actually like to fuck the guys they they because we pay them good and they they really like us and oh you know if you go overseas and the girls over there actually. They're trying to find ways to live in the lie. Women do the same shit. Uh, sir, why don't you look up in your, make sure wherever you're at, uh, just make sure you look up the laws or find out about rape by deception, okay? That's when a predator obtains a victim agreement to engage in sexual intercourse by using deception, false statements, or actions. Mm. Okay? Or leading the target to lies and perceptions to get sex. So. What I want you to do, because you you apparently we're not here to fight what you do. You you're not a student of the game. You keep lying if you want to, but I'm just we're trying to look out for you. Just look up since you won't tell us what That's state. Wrong wrong. Wait, just look up right by the wrong wrong. See, see see the laws in your state. Because if that woman finds out that you full of shit and you got the pussy because you full of shit, don't think they are I'm just saying hey, <laughs> hey do you, brother. <laughs> but I don't. Hey, I don't, I'm done. I don't so you're saying in certain states that you can get caught up by rape by deception. Rape by deception is a, a situation. Yeah, it, it, you got to look it up. You got just look it up. I'm just saying, look it up. Look, just look it up, sir, and, and just look it up, brother. That's all I'm telling. You. All right, we try. We trying to help you out, listen, bro. All I'm, all I'm, listen, what I'm saying is this: there's flaws in every method of you know wh whichever strategy a guy will use. Is always oh, being honest. You lose the the woman says no. Where's that flaw at? What is the flaw in telling a woman honestly? Where's the flaw? When you when you when you're straightforward, yes, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to you're gonna have to poach way more women than Where's if you like. Flaw. Where's yeah. the flaw? If she knows what you, okay, brother, brother, how many times I keep telling you, your your thinking is you go to an ice cream store and say, hey guys, you sell ice cream. They know you want to fuck. But the fact that you trying to fuck is why you ain't fucking. Steve. She knows she want to fuck. Women are delusional. Look, Steve, you actually have women that are delusional that'll sit up here. 
Because I trust me, I've heard, I've heard the whole story. Like, oh, I thought he wanted to do it. You don't understand how women know game. Delusional, man. No game more than you. They're smart enough to play dumb because they're like this. If you weak as fuck, I'm going to get the bag. I'm going to get the bag before I give you the pussy. And you're going to have to pay your way to get a sniff of this pussy by taking me out, buying me drinks. I'm telling you, you think women are stupid. They're not. But again, you have not told us what is the flaw in being honest with a woman. You have to approach a lot. Oh, you still gotta approach. You still gotta a- approach a lot when you lying, motherfucker. You understand? <laughs> like, because let me because understand this. You think this is what you think. You think that lying. You're th- you think that you're telling the woman what she wants to hear, but you don't even know if the woman's lying to you. This is what I'm trying to say. So what happens is is that when you lie, what you're doing is you're opening yourself up for a woman to waste your time. Because if you meet a girl and she's like, oh, I'm looking for a long-term relationship. I'm looking for something serious. And you say, oh, yeah, baby, I'm looking for something serious too, right? And then what she's going to say is, oh, cool. In her mind, she's thinking, I'm never going to fuck this nigga. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get him to take me out. I'm going to get him to call me. We're going to talk. Because remember, didn't you say that you spoke to a woman for two years? When I was 19. Right. So this is what I'm saying. I'm saying is that this is what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that when you lie, you open yourself up for a woman to waste your time. You see what I'm saying? Because now that gives her her playground. That's now she says, oh, okay, well, I'm I'm setting up this situation to tell him I want something long term. Now he took the bait. Cool. Now he says he wants something long term. So since we both want something long term, then we can wait it out. Because that girl that you that you know for you. hold on, hold on. The girl, the girl, the girl that you known for three weeks, right? When did you fuck her? Second week. So again, so it took you two weeks to fuck this chick, correct? Of lies. Yes. yes. Right. So why why wait two weeks when you can fuck a chick in the same day or same night or the next day? <laughs> or within 72 hours. Um, why? The odds of that, the odds of that are extremely, you know this. Well, maybe not for you, but for the average guy, self-included. Okay, well, stop. why are you being the average thing. guy? The average guy lies. Yeah, you're creepy as fuck, dude. <laughs> Women don't want to be with creepy motherfuckers, man. Dude, the dude. average guy who does the straightforward approach, he's probably going to have to fight. He's probably going to have to holler at a thousand bitches before he no, finds one. No, he's says, not. Yeah. No, he's not. Listen, Ooh, listen, fuck. listen. Let me tell you something. Do you know that right now, 2021, this is the, the, the easiest time in history, history to put me, bro? What are you he talking about? Uh, wait, 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 I, wait, wait. Do you understand what August is? Do you know what the month of August is, Carla? Do you know what it is? You know what the month of August is, brother? Turning point right before fall, man. No, 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 no. See, that's why you lose. <laughs> August is the new batch of legal girls or women now that no longer have mommy and daddy and rules and they are leaving their homes, going to their colleges, waiting to fuck, suck dick, drink, do drugs, don't do drugs, girls, and and let their inhibitions go wild. This is, we're getting a new, all over the world, all over the world, it starts this month. And you talk about the end of the end of summer going into fall. Nigga, please. Bro, this is the easiest time, my nigga. Time. You got online dating, you got Instagram, you got in the streets, you got the bar, you got everything. And understand this. Women, women are encouraged to be whores right now. Oh my God. So, Connect. Connect. So you, you ain't got a lie to kick it. You just let a girl know, like, listen, bro, like you could literally go on Tinder right now, match with a girl, FaceTime her, and have her at your place tonight. Easy. Um, and he's and what and he's connected. You're connected to every woman that's connected to this world wide web. Right. How do you how do you oh, not have a me, roster of 10 women? Let me tell you something. There was a chick that I that I used to hook up with, right? She told me there was a dude she matched with on Tinder, right? He was in New York. She, she lives in New York. He was in New York at the time, right? But he lives in Mexico. So she matched with him while, she, while he was in New York, but he flew back home to Mexico. 
right? So when they matched, they were talking and he said, oh, hey, I was, I was just in New York, but I'm not going to be there for like another six months. This woman said, I can't wait that long. She took a flight the next day to Mexico to see this nigga. Fly, they will fly to come see you or buy you a ticket to come see Y'all guys don't understand. I'm so, hey, caller, to be honest with you, I'm serious. I'm so jealous of you. Because uh, there's just no way you can be what you are right now and lie when women are throwing the, they, they're giving it up like Halloween candy. But wait, 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 here's the key thing. The key, the key thing is M-A-N. They're giving it up to M-A-N. Facts. That that's the key. There, there's that's one key. They're not gonna fuck what they had in high school. They want more of a sexual experience, and they're willing to give their pussies up and their mouths up and their buttholes up for some guys to that experience. Dude, these are, those are those are outlier stories that Lucario was given. That shit is not the fucking norm, and that's it the is, problem. Y'all guys, no, no, no. You guys are deceiving. Y'all. No, no, no. This is the thing. It's not outlier. It's stories of men this is what we're trying to say when yeah, you know, yeah. game this is what happens this is like i don't like i, I don't know how how much clearer do we have to tell you guys when you have game this is the shit that happens here's your life this is how you win I'm saying. so it sounds foreign to you because you're the type of guy who lies you're right. the guy who waits two weeks to fuck some chick you understand what but i'm saying i've tried i nah, you ain't okay no 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 you don't you don't try the game you become the game. You understand what I'm saying? The game is you, brother. So <laughs> when you try, why don't you tell us how you try to talk to a woman? What do you say to women? That all depends on uh, the scenario that I'm in. All right, you see a bitch at you see a bitch at Starbucks. Well, I don't even go to this fucking Starbucks. My whole point. See this? You should be able to answer two plus two is four, no matter what scenario a woman's in. But see, you know, you know what I noticed about you, caller, is that you you have you have a lot of resistance. <laughs> he just it's a, it's a growth, a lot of mommy in him, and so, into, into like into actually okay. taking action. You know why? Because we'll ask you a question: Where do you live? Well, what what is that? What, why, why you want to know? What, what does that matter? <laughs> Okay, yo, scenario, you in Starbucks. Man, fuck Starbucks. I don't even like Starbucks. Like, bro, this is what I'm saying. Like, you're you're not open to actually learning and growing in the situation. He doesn't like, want to. I mean, I've, I've, I've tried damn near, I've tried damn near every technique. How do you try? No, no, no. How do you mean? That's what I'm saying. You have, you have you have you have resistance in your heart, so you're not fully actually embracing the game. That's the point. So you so what I'm saying is is that it's like this. It's like a, it's like a motherfucker who's who has racism in his heart, and he's like, "Well, I, I tried to, to to have a conversation with that nigger." <laughs> I was thinking like, "Like what the fuck?" Like you still, I tried to have a, a conversation with that dirty nigger, and it didn't work. You understand? Like I'm not talking about one. I'm not talking about one attempt though. But it's See, not. But again, what I'm saying. this is what I'm talking about with this outlier shit. You're talking about a racist guy who had one attempt. Bro, you're not understanding the point. What I'm saying is that your mindset is not ready to actually improve. That's what I'm trying to say. If you if you do it a thousand times and you lose a thousand times, who's the fucking common denominator of the problem? Bitches. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 All right, we got we got to take more callers real quick. Right, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, we're we gonna pray for you, my brother. All right, let's go to, let's go to six, four, six seven eight. <laughs> Hold on, six seven eight. What's popping? Who this? Hey, it's Evil. How you guys doing? What's going on, my brother? What's good with you? So, um, like I, I, I met this girl on Starbucks. She was a very attractive female. Like I, I actually have a Audi belly button fetish. She has, she has an Audi belly button. I love her belly button. Okay, and what what's the question? So the thing is that when I approach her, right? Um, like she look at me crazy. Like I, I try to approach her, but she give me that look that I shouldn't approach her. You said she gave you a look that you shouldn't approach her. 
Yeah, because I was looking at her. I was like, well, here's the thing. I mean, honestly, I was staring at her for like, right. like for 10 minutes. Yeah, you were staring and at her. I was staring at her belly. And I, I was staring at her belly button because she got a nice Audi belly button. You know what I'm saying? I was staring at it and you looked at me crazy. I was like. Because you were looking at it for 10 minutes. You looked at her belly button for nine minutes and 55 seconds. Too long. She got a sexy belly button, man. I, I got a sexy so, belly button. So, so, so caller, why didn't you why didn't you go up to her and be like, hey, miss, how you doing? Listen, you got a sexy belly button. What's your name? Why didn't you ain't say that to her? You got I, I know it's so creepy, you know what I'm saying? You say you creepy? I, I, I did not want I didn't want I didn't want, want, want to sound creepy. That's why. Well you looked, but you staring at her, my friend, made you creepy, brother. You you can't stare at women and then talk to them. Cause they think you're gonna try to cut them up and eat them, big dog. <laughs> okay. I see the belly button. I like the belly button, and I will compliment her on her belly button. Right. That's it. So you got you got to just right. you got to just get uh you know just get comfortable approaching and talking to women. Whenever you see a woman you like and you think is attractive, just go in and approach her and start talking. You feel me? Yeah. All so right. The other one to say as well. Say it again. So. It's the other one to say. So mm -hmm. let's say that, like, let's say that, um, for instance, um, so let's say that you have a date, right? Mm hmm. And you have a date. Uh huh. But before, <laughs> but, but, but afterwards, you met a woman that you thought we were talking to her and and, and and you plan to have sex with her, right? Should I just play the date and get the sex? As someone who's inexperienced. Wait, so you said you have a date and then you said some other girl wants to have sex with you? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that it's scenario that, oh, well, I'm saying that, let's say that the first girl Going with good, you plan to date, uh -huh. but like two days later, you met another girl mm -hmm. and you plan to have sex with her, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, do you, those experience, do you play the dates and so you get the sex? No, or you gotta, no, 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 no. Or, it's, or the thing. it's the thing, it's the thing. If you plan a date with a girl, let's say I plan a date with a girl on Friday, and another girl hits me up and says, Hey, I want to come over and have sex with you on Friday. I don't flake on the girl I planned to date with on Friday. I go on the date with the girl I'm going to see on Friday. And then I tell the girl who wanted to have sex with me on Friday, she can come later after I finish fucking with this other girl, or she can come on Saturday and, and, and we can get a cracking. You understand what I'm saying? I'm saying what I'm saying, what are you inexperienced? It's different your experience in bed, but what are you inexperienced you don't have a lot of sex? You got that's how you gotta learn game, young man. Uh, okay. Your answer to all your questions is becoming a student of the game. Right. Because you don't understand how to define yourself. And that's why you need someone to guide you, to help you define yourself. So when these questions come up in your head, you can be able to answer them and put them into action. Right. And also, you got to get to the level of the game where you're actually having these, you, you, you're putting the cart before the horse. You're talking about dates and having random chicks hit you up for sex if that's not happening right now <laughs> you gotta <laughs> you gotta you know what i'm saying you gotta work your way to that to that point that's that's player problems right there you ain't at that level i don't think you feel me so <laughs> so so you gotta you gotta you know uh, uh think about that but hit us up man man mindset and bad boy membership i right? appreciate the call my brother yeah the phone lines are lighting the fuck up okay let's go to um 817 817 what's popping who this uh, this is boss. Uh, uh, my question is, um, I'm talking to this female. Um, I met her on Plenty of Fish. Uh, I got her number. Uh, we started texting and we FaceTime. But um, during the texting phases, I was trying to set up uh, us meeting like 
probably twice. And she said, maybe. <laughs> and uh, me personally, what was that? Brother, brother, <laughs> brother. Uh, Let me tell you the rules of man. You can't say maybe. You can't say I'll think about it. You can't say I'm sure. Because if you say any of those words right there, I'm throwing your ass back in the water. Exactly. I'm not wasting my motherfucking time with a maybe. I'm not sure. Let me think of fuck you. Right. You got no. Yeah. He's done. Yeah, like I'm uh I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't gonna text her uh back or anything. Um, but it was something that happened and I didn't necessarily know how to handle it like the best way. Like I wasn't really tripping, but it's like um I didn't know how to handle it the best way possible. Handle what? Like uh handling her saying maybe. Okay, okay, let me rewind the tape. <laughs> like like no, no, no. Let me rewind the tape. Uh, hey, baby. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we uh, go out sometime? Maybe. Hey, look, well, check this out. I don't want to waste your time, and I don't want to waste my time. It was nice knowing you. So when you want to suck my dick again, you call me. Other than that, take care. Right. That's it. That's it. That's it. Well, that's all how you handle me. Okay. That's it. Be like, okay. listen, listen, I don't do maybe. So when, whenever you're ready to make this happen, hit me up. Here's my number. And then you never talk to her again. Yeah, I don't do maybes. I don't do friends. I don't do hanging out. I don't do uh, let's get to know each other and let's take our time. I don't do. I don't want to waste my time. So I don't want to waste your time. But see, when you say that to the woman, how you get them is you become this magical word that you guys always avoid. And it's called you're being an asshole. Mm -hmm. You're being conceited. You're being selfish. Yeah. You're being cocky. Why would you say that? That's what you want. But you guys are scared to say goodbye. You better tell her goodbye. Don't waste. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, you know what? If I was you right now, I'd call her up on this show right now, and i say, hey, check it out. <laughs> I want to see you Saturday at the ice cream parlor on the corner of your face in the pillow, your ass up in the air at 2 o'clock. And if she say anything other than yes, say, see, that this is why I'm going to let you go because you're wasting my goddamn time. <laughs> you you want to do that, caller? Caller? Come on. You uh, want to do it? Yeah, yeah. Come on. There you go. See? Now, look, we got you back. You get that listen. Yeah, yeah, I do it. I do it but like, uh, can I say, like, uh, later on in the day? Well, you pick the time. Look, look, you um, pick the day. You pick the day, but we we here. All we want you to do is a what's up, sexy? Hey, look, I'm free Saturday. You choose a time and say, I want to see. And if she says anything other than motherfucking yes, say, you see that? You know what? You're wasting my time. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Because I don't, I, I like women who know what they want. And apparently, you're not that woman. Talk that yak, bro. All right. All right. All right. Look, look, look. I'm going to do it. This is my first time. Like, so I'm kind hey, of. Relax. No, no, we got you. Hey, dog, we quiet. Do it, dog. We, sharp. we got your back. Listen, there's no, there's no failure here. This is going to be a lesson. Now, the car has got to stop laughing and shit, but we got you. Go ahead. You got 20 seconds. Click right, over. So, um, hey, uh, hey. I got. All right. All right. All right. Hey, take it, take so it how do I do it and not like add y'all in there? All right, wait, you know you merged the fucking call. Come on, man. Do you have a cricket phone or do you have an Android or an iPhone? What do you have? Cricket, Android, I iPhone. Have a phone, but I've never merged. Okay, so when you call her, just click. See on your phone, it's gonna have a plus button. You press that button, it says add call. You call her. When she picks okay. up the phone, you hit the button to merge the call. Now listen to me. Now listen real quick. If yeah. her voice message comes on, wait till they say like three numbers, then merge the call, and you let her know in your voicemail, look, I'm free Saturday at whatever your fucking time is. This is what I want to do. Let me know when you're going to come. And that's it. You leave her the message. Don't run. Okay? All right. All right. Say this. Look, I'm free Saturday. Um, I want to go out to go get some ice cream or something like that, right? Say something like that. You better know. No, I want you, we um, are going to go. We, I, we're going to go here. And, 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 and what's going to happen is okay. I want you to feel your stomach because at this point when you do this, your nuts are going to slowly drop <laughs> on your stomach. And they're going to go, Dush. 
And you gonna feel like a man when you say this shit, brother. So go ahead, go ahead. We got it. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put y'all on speaker real quick. Yo, wait, go just breathe, brother. We got you. Yeah, you got 20 seconds. Or Lakari go hang up. You may do this shit 20 seconds. Okay, clock starting. All right, give me 30. Give me 30. Give me 30. I can't give you 30, goddammit. You it only takes three seconds to dial a bitch number. Look, 20 seconds. I'm about to I'm about to do uh, Okay, you ready? All right, let me find it. Uh, let me find in my messages because I don't got to say. I don't got a number to say. <laughs> All right, that, that, that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right, you're finna do it. Now take a deep breath. Now I'm about to count us down. You got 20 yeah, seconds now. Okay, we get, we get this zero. okay, you ready? And we're going to be quiet. Yeah. But I'm going to do the countdown right now. 20 seconds. You ready? Tell me what to say again. I'll do it one more time. Oh, my God, brother. <laughs> Look, one more time, just one more, just, just like we're hustling, like right before, you know, like hey, I'm before, free like, Saturday at this time, free Saturday at th- whatever time at at six at six. Saturday at six Saturday at six o'clock. Okay, I know a great place where you and I gonna go. We gonna go out for some ice cream. You and I gonna go out from ice for some ice cream Saturday at six o'clock. You tell her where she's going. Oh god damn, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I, you tell her, god damn it. Now you ready? You ready to count it down? Uh, all right, all right. Hey, wait, right, there ain't no odds in it, dude. You okay, right brother. I'm you call right right because you have a problem. We're solving it for you. Uncle Lucario and Uncle Steve <laughs> are solving this for you. We're gonna fix this shit. I don't finna call it right now. Your nuts are dropping right now. I feel them. <laughs> Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna call her right now. You ready? Now I'm counting down. Here we go. Go and go. Twenty. Sixty. Fifty. Fourteen. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, um, I'm going out. Um around like six on Saturday. Uh, or actually, um, I want to take you out around six on Saturday um, to go get some ice cream or something like that. Are you down? I'll have to let you know. I'll go back to work tomorrow. You got to let me know. I'll go back to work tomorrow, so I'll let you know what time I uh, I work on Saturday. I've been off since the 28th. <laughs> I, I can't even lie. Like, uh, uh, I need a female that's more decisive. Like we spoke a couple of times, and you said either maybe or you didn't know. Uh, so yeah, no, I don't know. I haven't. I haven't been to work since the twenty eighth, so I don't know what my schedule is. Like I don't even know. I have to work tomorrow. I don't even know what time I have to go in. So I, I, have, to so. I have to call my job, and then when I go into work tomorrow, I will send you what my schedule is for the rest of the week, and then probably the next week after that, and then you can go from there. But I can't. Can't tell you like yeah, it's Saturday at six o'clock, and then I have to work from five to one in the morning. You get what I'm saying? Because then it's just like oh, well then I have to cancel on you because I have to work five to one in the morning, and I won't know until tomorrow when I go to work. That's what I'm saying. So I I haven't been to work since the 28th, literally since last week, last week Wednesday. I haven't been to work. Okay. They've had me on okay. vacation for my birthday, so I don't know what my schedule is like for the rest of the week. Because they uh, they put it up at the job and I haven't been to the job. <laughs> That's all I was saying. It's not me being indecisive. And then yesterday I had kids to watch. That's why I was like, I don't really know. Because I was doing my neighbor a favor, watching her kids, watching them to go check on her son in the hospital. That was literally it. Today my mom was going out to eat. When she comes back, okay, yeah, maybe when she comes back, but she's coming back. But Saturday, I can't give you a for sure time on Saturday until tomorrow when I go to work. Okay, uh, I heard everything you said. That's cool, but uh, I'm gonna have to let you go. Uh, it was nice knowing you. Um, whenever you're ready, hit me back. We can actually chill or whatever the case may be. But uh, I mean, that's really it. You know what I'm saying? It, uh, it is what it is. But I at least thought I should call you and let you know, like, you know. So um, enjoy yourself. Um and yeah, take care. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness. Wait, 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 wait. Jebediah Lucario. <laughs> he was honest with her. She was down. <laughs> no. Down. She wanted to go out. She just couldn't do it at that time. She said, I got to check my schedule and I'll let you know. She wanted to see him. Why did he cut her off? This is how, see guys, see when you're honest with them, when you're honest with them and you tell them what you want, they respond. Right. He didn't, he couldn't handle the response. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't understand context. Oh my God. Did he call back? Is he back in? Is he in our queue? Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. He got to, he got to call us back. He, 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 gentlemen, do you see when you're honest with a woman and you tell him what the fuck the deal is? He won Lucario. He won. She said, I got to go. I got to I start work, but I got to check my schedule. Mm-hmm. I gotta check my schedule. I'll let you know. I'll keep you informed and updated on that. He could have just been like, yo, I oh. at me. But see, the thing is, this is the, this is the part where he messed up. See, he he didn't understand the context. Right. He thought when we said if she's giving you an excuse you understand what I'm saying? To cut it off, you know, and then so he cut it off. But he didn't realize that there's context, meaning what was the actual excuse? You understand what I'm saying? Like, just... Wait, Walter, Walter, how do we set him up to fail? He won. <laughs> we told him what to say. He said it. Oh, here you no, go. Call, he, he, call him back. Yeah. Yo, call her. Uh, is he? Is he? Call her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did you say that to her? She was down. What you what you mean? Okay, okay, listen, listen. You said I want to go out at six o'clock on Saturday, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. She said I can't because I have to work. Mm-hmm. And I gotta look at my schedule. And once <laughs> I look at my schedule, okay, I can let you know when I'm free. I'll let you know. So why would you say what you said? You got her. Why didn't you just let? It, it's, uh, it's something I didn't really say. So like, uh, well, um, I didn't you tell say, us. Um, huh? Is it something you didn't tell us? Yeah. So um, the reason I wasn't really tripping. Okay. So. Uh, you know how she said she was like busy, right? Mm. Okay, so she also said that she wasn't busy where she was off work like the past few days or whatever. And I was trying to link up with her uh, prior to this you conversation. Was, sir, you so wasn't my mind, specific on when you wanted to see her. Well, I, uh, I was giving her like specific times. She kept saying maybe like, okay, let's meet up here. At six, uh, I say six because it's not like too early and it's not too late. Uh, it's kind of like a, a mutual uh, if we actually gonna end up chilling or whatever for real, for real. But like, uh, yeah, two days prior, I was trying to link up with her and she said that she was free. So I seen it as okay. Well, she was not doing nothing those mm-hmm. other two days and she just wasn't trying to link so that's but like you never talked to her you never <laughs> talked to her this way before the way we told you you never you never were assertive yeah. and said, this is what we're doing yeah, right that's true that's, that's true okay, right that's the yeah. difference before you talked to myself and Jebediah okay. Lucario you were beating around the bush that's why she was beating around the bush because you were leading her to do that when we told you to be real with her okay. You did that, and you got the real response. Mm-hmm. Now, we got to clean this true. mess up. That's true. I was surprised. When you fucking call her back and say, okay, get back at me, sexy. You know I'm just playing with you. And I want you to fuck. We want you to get the pussy. <laughs> you, we don't want you to fuck this up. Yeah. We're, we're in. So call her back and say, what's up, sexy? Hey, you know, hey, hey, I, hey go ahead, check your schedule out, and get back to me, okay, sexy? Because I, I, oh, I look forward to giving you some kisses and shit. Just, just talk a little shit to her, okay? You got to clean this up because you're one. Yeah. Your nuts drop. Listen, you did the thing that the last caller couldn't even do. Right. You nutted the fuck up. Right. So, the car, you want to give me advice? So and, he and, also, and also, brother, you got to understand something, right? When 
when you're when you're doing what you're doing in the game, you have to look at the context. You understand what I'm saying? So now you're saying I, you're telling us that before she was giving you excuses and all this other stuff. But like like Steve was saying before, mm -hmm. you wasn't being straight up and real with her. You understand what I'm saying? Which is why she's probably going to run around in the first place anyway. You see what I'm saying? Now, yeah, this is the thing. Yeah. You got to look at context, right? If yeah. If I tell you to go inside some spot, right? And yeah. Like a bar or some shit and somebody got one of your one of your family members held captive and you going in there to try to fight these motherfuckers and then you walk up to the bar and you look in the window and you see they all got guns, right? You was about to go fist fight, but now yeah. you see they got guns. So now you got to go back and get some guns to fight them with the guns. You see what I'm saying? So at first he's going to use a fist, but now that you see the context of the situation, now you got to go get the guns. So in this situation, the context was you told her what you wanted. She said, Oh yeah, well we could do that. But I have, I have a, a you know, something Saturday. You understand what I'm saying? I got to go to work. Now what you did was you just yeah. kept going through when you was like, well, so, so whatever. And that's it. You understand in this context, when she said, I got to yeah. get back to you and go to work, you'd be like, well, listen, I'm going to need you to hit me up tomorrow after you know your schedule and let me know when you're free and then we're going to set something up. And that's it. You feel what I'm saying? So, so like Steve was saying, yeah, hit her back up. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah and let, let her know I what know it is. Y'all can hear me low key. Yo, we heard you, but hold on. Everyone in the chat room, see, this is why we win and y'all lose because y'all want to walk away from shit because y'all don't understand game. He won. He just thought he lost. Mm -hmm. He can still win. Brother. Call her ass back. Tell, hey, what's up, sexy? I just fucking with you and shit. Just laughing. Off. I just, I just fucking with you and shit. Just, hey, check your schedule out. Let me know because I look forward to kissing those lips. We want you at least. Listen, I don't listen. Let's call her. I don't want you to go out to hang out with that motherfucker. And that's where a lot of guys walk on eggshells. Yeah. Clear, concise, transparent. You just call her back. And tell her, okay, you go and check your schedule out. Let me know, because I'm looking forward to tasting those lips or kissing those lips. Just say something like that, all right? Click over and say, hey, you good. You got it. You got two sharks. We're here. We got your back. Hurry up, because we got other callers, too. Right. Go ahead and call it, dog. Hey, look, do that shit and be all right. See, a lot of these guys want to run to the heels and shit because they feel defeated. You didn't lose. Your nuts already dropped. So you ain't got nothing to lose right now. Yeah. Right? Everything yeah. okay. So you, hey, may, mention the kiss, though, because we want to let her know uh, I'm not coming to hang out with you as your friend. I'm trying to get some affection from your fucking ass. Mm -hmm. See, that's what real motherfuckers do. Okay? Fact. So go ahead, young man. Go do it. Go. You yeah. can't, hey, listen. Listen. You didn't lose in this. You win. Okay? Now, don't, you don't want your nuts yeah. coming back up. Keep, just keep going forward. Call her. This is game right here. Uh -huh. I bet, 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 bet. Uh, let me find it. Let me find it. <laughs> oh, I don't know why we were in the car. Tell see the car. Well, a lot of guys don't see. A lot of guys think that they can't tell a woman what the fuck they want. Right. And he did that. Mm -hmm. He got thrown off. A question, but right. like, I'm gonna just motherfucker click over. Call her. You talking? I'm call her right now. Go ahead, call her right now. Go ahead, go ahead. We we talking amongst ourselves. We'll we'll be quiet. We just talk real quick. But they came. See, a lot of these guys that's listen to us, they can't accept that, wow, if I was just honest with her, she'd be receptive to it. Hello? 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 That shit crazy. I'm not sure if you can hear me, uh, or if you're even on the phone for real, but I was just playing. Uh, so uh, let me know tomorrow after you figure out your schedule and everything. Let me know for sure, and uh, we can set some up because I want to see you. So. Yeah. All right, his phone cut off. I, 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 I just want to understand, though. Why? Listen, y'all want these guys always say they want affection, right? 
Right. <laughs> now they always want to fuck. <laughs> Why can't you tell people what it is you want? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that's funny. How the fuck she like either he called the wrong number or <laughs> she like how you how you call uh pick up your phone and don't say shit. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, but she well, she probably she probably upset, but mm-hmm. But th- but this is why being honest, and again, yeah, he was a little shaky and shit, but right. I-, I think he won Lucario. I know we got other calls and shit. No, but, yeah. no, but this is the thing. This is the thing I like. I like the fact that he actually hit her up. You understand what I'm saying? I had the boss to hit her up. The only thing is, is that he needs to know how, and this is why game is important, yeah. because the, the, the thing that this is what he did wrong. I'm going to tell you what he did right, and I'm going to tell you what he did wrong. What he did right was actually calling her up and letting her know what he wanted to do, right? What he did wrong was is that he didn't actually see the context of what was happening and then respond correctly to what was going on. So what he did was is that he 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 was like, you know, we told him, hey, listen, if, you know, tell her what you want to do. And if she ain't really trying to do that, then tell her, hey, we, we, we you know, it's all good. What he didn't realize was is that she was giving him an opening to make it happen. And then he still told her, I, well, well, good luck. I'm out of here. That's the part he fucked up. You see what I'm saying? He missed, see, what y'all got to learn what just happened. He missed the submission. Mm -hmm. She was cooperating and he missed it because he was looking for, oh, fuck you then. Right. What happened was, she it, look when a woman is interested in you guys, they're gonna say, "Well, I can't make it, but it's, we could do this. We could do this." Uh, but she explained for a good three minutes, "I got a new job. You know, I got the schedule. Got to make sure I get the schedule right because if it, she was explaining to him, so there was interest there, Lucario. Right? He missed the whole mark of she was it. See, what did he say before? He was beating around the bush." And that's why she was beating around the bush. Right. He finally was straight up with her. Mm-hmm. She got straight up with him and said, okay. Because if she wasn't, then this is this is how easy game is. Let me throw it to you, Lucario. This is how easy game is. When you just let them know what you want and you tell them. Mm-hmm. And if they say anything other than, uh, well, if they say, you know, maybe, I'm not sure, you throw them back in the water. But you got to listen also, Lucario. Mm-hmm. Let's get. I think he called back. Hold it. Is a a one seven? Yeah. Yo, what's happening? So, so why, why did you they kiss? Why why did you talk about t- kissing her well, lips? Okay, so uh, I forgot to say it exactly how you said it, and I kind of like froze a little bit. I was like, I paused for like a good point one, two, three seconds. Uh, but like, uh, I forgot exactly what you said. So I was like, damn, like, let me just. Wait, hold on. Did she, did, when you called her, uh, when you called her, she picked up the phone? Okay. So I believe she picked up the phone, but I didn't hear a response from y'all nor her. We so I, was talk. To, I was like, yeah, we didn't hear nothing either. That's what I was saying. So I don't know what, what happened. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. But this, but this, all I want, this, all I want to say to you is this. Is that you got to understand context, bro? That's what I'm saying. Like, because you're at least you have you you have the heart to do what you did, which I applaud you. Because most dudes yeah, is too scared to do yeah. that shit, right? Yeah, you know you understand? But understand that you gotta you gotta understand that by you letting her know what you wanted, you got an actual response. Yeah, you know what I'm, I'm saying, and then, yeah. right, and then that response is what you have to use to make the next move. So what happened was you just went straight yeah. through and was like, you understand, like, and, 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 under, and understand this, is that you have to understand what the response is. You thought her saying that she had work me, meant that she don't want to do nothing, which is what which what made you go through and say, nah, I'm, I'm good. Right. What you didn't realize was that yeah, she I was, thought, you see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. He was giving you number of action. Uh, okay. Here. Right, so that's the, so so t- take this as a lesson to yeah. learn because you gotta be you gotta be very yeah. you gotta pay attention to what's going on because what happened was you weren't paying attention you was just trying to run through the situation and tell you was like oh she said no okay no so okay I'm out you understand what I'm saying and and this is what we're trying to tell you this is what we're trying to tell you you won because you actually made something happen and you're learning 
That's that's what it is. Because because a, a lot of the dudes in the chat, well, some of the dudes in the chat who don't really understand what's going on, they're like, oh, well, you set him up for failure. No, we got we set you up and you won. You understand what I'm saying? Because you learn yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's how I you learn yeah. by going through it. Yeah. You see what I mean? That's how you learn by going through. So write, write, write his number down. Write, write his number down. You get oh, yeah. Now, the, the caller, let me tell you why I'm proud of you. I, I'm proud of you. Let me tell you why. Because you know what? You well, did the thing number. that none of these motherfuckers did. Not only did you came in, you fucked up. We cleaned it up. You followed directions. You won. You fucked that up, but that's okay. But then you call back to clean that up. So guess what you get from Uncle Dean? Now, it is my birthday month, and I get discounts on my birthday, but guess what you get, brother? You ready? What? Give me a number between, yeah. give me a number between 1 and 1,000. 1 and 1,000? 1, uh... 1,098. Number between one and 1,000, nigga. Give me not one. Oh, give me the numbers between one and 1,000. Uh, 800. Okay, you're going to get $800 worth of free stuff from the man mindset. <laughs> oh, oh, because you stuck in, you followed directions with me and Miss Lucario. And you won, even though this shit kind of fell off the rails. We're proud of you, and this is why we talk about honesty. So, the Cario's gonna give me your number. Mm -hmm. You send me an email with your number in the subject, and then I'm gonna send you eight hundred dollars worth of free motherfucking products, absolutely free, sir. Okay. Cool, cool, All right, cool, brother. cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm I proud of you. Pr we're proud of you, man. I, I applaud you, man. I, you, you don't understand. I know it was tough and difficult because you thought that, you know what, I, I, I lost. But you didn't lose when you, when you followed advice. Lucario gave you advice. Mm -hmm. I gave you advice. You followed it. It was tough. You did it. You, you, you won, but you kind of failed a little bit. But then you did something men, that men do. We clean up our shit. Mm. You realize you fucked up. You made the proper adjustments. You went back in. See, most people in the chat room are like, man, I wouldn't call it back because they don't know game. Mm. But you win. You're going to get $800. The man might write it down, caller. The man mindset at gmail.com. Put your number in the subject, and I'm going to send you $800 wherever free shit, dog. I got you. My brother. I'm proud appreciate, of you. Man. appreciate the call, my brother. And, and, and I'm, glad you, I'm glad you stepped up. That's, a, that's, that's what men do. You feel me? I appreciate right. the job. Well, let's go to damn the phone lines is lighting up. Shit, man. Y'all motherfuckers. All right, let's let's try to get through these right, as, as quick as we can. Let's go to um let's go to uh 813. 813 was popping. What's going on? What up? What, what's up, Lucario? What's up? What's up, Steve? How y'all doing? Chilling. Oh. What's good? What's good? Good. Uh cool. Uh, I want to say something real quick. Two things. Well, yesterday when Miles was when you and Miles was talking, I out shot to Miles, you know, glad to see he's doing better. Mm -hmm. Um, and then uh, he said something about the, the body count thing. He was like, Niggas wanna have high body counts, but find chicks with low body counts. And right. that shit like was like, damn. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I want I wanna also say about Biggie, like uh some I wanna uh, talk to you about Biggie Smalls, like you know, a nigga who, you know, he wasn't the most, you know, physically appealing. He had a lazy eye. You know, he, at one point he had a bad leg. But every time you look at this nigga, he's like, damn, that nigga just fly as fuck. Mm -hmm. Can you guys tell me, like, what? I know it has a lot to do with charisma, but what about, can you guys, like, break that down? Like, what's going on with Biggie right. and how other guys. Well, you know? let's not talk about Biggie. Let's talk about you. Okay, because you're not Biggie. But what I'm saying yeah. is, is that Biggie accepted who the fuck he was mm. and he didn't give a fuck what women thought about him he was just going to present himself to a woman this is who the fuck i am either you're down or you're not but see what guys understand is when the more you don't give a fuck about women because you notice even in his, his, his raps he's talking shit about women the mm. more they want to fuck with you Mm -hmm. they want night. They always gonna lie and say, "I want a nice guy. I want a gentleman. I want to be treated good." But when you don't give a fuck about women, they give a fuck about you, Lucario. Right. That's facts, and that's that's what it is. It's it's, it's just it, again, people underestimate energy. 
You understand what I'm saying? They underestimate yeah. the, the yeah. energy that emanates from you when you're dealing with with, with with certain situations. You understand what I'm saying? And so what happens is, is that that energy, the women could feel that. And that's what gets them attracted. You understand what I'm saying? Like, see, the, the thing is this. The reason why, again, the reason why, um, you know, for example, I'll just use movies as an example. The reason why you can get uh, feel a certain way when you're watching a sad movie or laugh when you're watching a comedy or feel scared when you're watching a horror flick or whatever it is, that's energy. You see what I'm saying? It's that energy that makes you feel that way. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that if that guy within himself is already confident, he already has that swag, he has that energy about him, then women are going to gravitate to that because women are moved by the energy. This is why women love fucking, uh, you know, like, romance novels and all that other shit and they, they get all excited by the shit that they hear a guy say to them is because that energy is coming from that place that makes them feel the way they feel. You see what I mean? So it just it just is what it is. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? It, it's a real quick caller. It's what they feel when they get around you about how you feel about yourself. See, it's not a see the man like Biggie or any man because I don't want to just say big. It, it doesn't matter your height and how short you are and all how you look. It all is about how you feel about yourself or how you move on that feeling. Right. That's what's going to get the woman. It's not, see, as soon as you say she looks beautiful, you lose. Mm. Because let me tell you about my Miss Lucario. We don't look at a woman and say, oh, she's beautiful. It's expected for her to be fucking beautiful. Mm -hmm. We don't talk to mud ducks. So right. we already know we talk to beautiful women. So we never have to say she looks beautiful. Because we only talk to the top-notch motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. So that knocks that out the way. But you know what? It's about, you know what? That motherfucker ain't even special. What can she do for me? That's the thought process where the average guy is saying, what can I do for her to get her pussy? Right. We're saying that we, it's an attitude that you get from the bad boy membership uh, or you get from the man mindset that we make it about the man. Fuck the woman. Mm -hmm. It's never going to be about these yeah. women. That's, right. and, and, you, and whatever you wear, you can wear a potato sack and she'll still be down, brother. <laughs> so that, that's what it is. But bro, yeah, yeah. we appreciate the call, my brother, because we got a few more of these people. See, Walter Slove in the chat, he, he don't understand it. He said, Biggie getting chicks. He's like, would Biggie get chicks if he was a janitor? B was a fucking... Nigga on the corner, fucking the corner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like before he got before he got famous, he had I think he had a girl, uh, uh, his his girl pregnant. He was fucking with little Kim. He was you know what I'm saying? Was before we ran the see what Walter, Walter, listen to me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why you lose, Walter. Because if you read all the shit you've been saying throughout this whole thing, you need fucking help. So instead of fucking asking goofy ass criticizing questions, mm -hmm. take your lazy fucking weak ass and get some coaching so you learn how to be a fucking man. Because men don't talk this way. Every time some say you like a fucking woman, they always want to throw some some catty ass shit, man. Fucking get your bitch ass out of here if you don't like that shit, nigga. I'm sorry, Lucario. Next call, man. <laughs> Let's go to three three one zero three one zero. What's popping? Who this? Hey, uh, okay, Mr. Lucario. You want to say like, man? On Tuesday, I had my fuck you unk moment. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's going I mean, on the with you? That you taught me, I learned, like, I met that girl that evening. By the end of the night, she was sending me body pictures and everything. Wow. And wait, 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 wait. I banged her. She came to over my place, and I just banged her. I just wanted to say that it, 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 it works. Yeah, but what happened? What did I? What was you told? What did we tell you? What, did I, what happened? Oh. My phone's going to die, so in case it's going to cut off, I'll call back. Um, so I was at my parents' house, and um, that evening, I just want to go visit my parents. And I saw her walking. I'm like, hey, how you doing, cutie? And I don't know. She just said, hey, do you like clubbing? And I'm like, yeah, what's up? She goes, hey, you got to go clubbing this weekend? I was like, well, I can't because I have a housewarming, but here's my invitation for my housewarming party. And get my number down. I gave her my number. And after that, she was going to a bar, and I was just you know, talking to her. And then I remember her, she gave my my dad a candle and I took it to my new place. I took a picture and I have some wine and she's like, oh, you took that candle, huh? I was like, yeah, like I just bought it from my dad. He goes, I think I need to go pick it up. And I said, I think you need to come over and pick it up because you got my address now. That's what's up. Yeah. And then 
And then she goes, well, I'm not going over there for just a candle. I'm going to go steal something. Ooh. I'm like, if you're going to steal something, I'm going to have to put you in some handcuff and spank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes, oh, don't threaten me with a good time. And I was like, I'm not threatening you with a good time. It's a fucking promise. Oh, <laughs> that's the game right there. Walter, and, take Walter. And then um, she was like, oh, my God, like. No one ever told me that. Ninety seconds. You haven't met a motherfucker like me yet. But hey, check this out. When you go shower today, I want you to. Once you start drying yourself off with the towel, just picture my lips and my tongue running down your body, drying you off. She goes, "What if I want to be wet?" <laughs> and I said, "I'll keep you moisty as fuck." Then look at the retarded serve, Lucario. Damn. And I was like, in my head at that moment, when I was saying that I was like. Oh shit! Fuck you, Unc. Sixty you know, seconds. You, unk moment. <laughs> but see, let me let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys real quick. I want you guys to notice something. This is the difference between because because I want you to notice the difference between this and this guy and the and the caller we just had that called up the girl. Notice the difference in the confidence and the mouthpiece level. See yeah. when when you learn game, right? You'll know how to navigate and talk to women in a way to actually get certain things done. Now, again, shout out to the caller that called earlier that called the girl, but he was still sort of learning. Right. He, right. Really, he didn't really understand, like, how to navigate the situation. But this caller right here knows how to navigate the situation. So I just want you to notice the difference. Yeah. He, he, hey, Lucario, he was, he, every time she said something, mm -hmm. he returned serve real back with some Ten seconds. technology. Now, right. I know we got other calls, don't we? Oh yeah, we got other calls. And the, the callers in the in the queue. Don't worry, we got you. We, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, but, we hey, call, yeah, hey, call it real quick. We pray, hey, brother. That's what game is about. See, we you didn't need me, Lucario, or YouTube for you to keep going back at her. And the more you kept going back at her, what was she doing? She was up in the level. She kept up in it. Went from dry towel to being wet. And see, that's how game works. Mm -hmm. Facts. I love it. I love it. You know? God, damn. Yeah, the fuck you, Steve, moment. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had it, man. And then the next day, I just got the Kissy 101, and wow, her reaction. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Now, listen, one oh, thing. I'm just saying, man. oh, fuck, every time. One thing you and uh, Ms. Carr asked you to do, when you fucking her next time, you see her butthole when you're hitting from the back, I just want you to look up in the sky and say, this for you, Unc Lucario, Unc Steve. I'll ask one time for you. What we want. I was eating it out. I, put my, I was sticking my finger in her pussy and I jammed my pinky in her butthole. <laughs> yeah, bro, that, we just want you to smack it. <laughs> yeah, this hair, man. Crazy. Oh, my God. Good job. I love, Good job. It. I love it, man. But we, yo, we appreciate you calling, my brother. Good Let job. You know All right, man. You guys take is, care. Keep up the good work, man. All right, brother Mahalo. Peace, peace. Oh, man. Talking about. See, this, this is what happens when you learn the stuff. Because remember, the, the guy that called early, he's he's yes. just beginning. So he's Drop. still got to, yeah, you know what I mean? But this dude right here, he's like, yo, the, the shit is going crazy. But let's get to, to the rest of these calls before we get out of here. We're going to get to all y'all real quick. Uh, let's go to um 973. 973, what's popping? Who this? Hi, it's cool to you. What's going on? Hey, I, I wanted to um, so I heard the girl. The girls like it when you when a guy can show them new things, uh, and they they like it if they can see a guy as a leader and mentor and show them show them new stuff. Mm -hmm. So you can use game on dating apps to get more more chicks to to swipe on you and get the right kind of chicks to to swipe on you. So a week ago. I, I didn't get a dating app till a week ago. I I I, I uh, got on uh, Bumble, mm -hmm. so I put on there. So I'm into fitness, so I put on there. I'd love to be your fitness coach, and also put. Uh, we can also be sex partners if you behave and ask nicely. <laughs> so um, only a only a couple of chicks call. Uh, swiped on me. I, I messed the first one up because I took too long responding, mm -hmm. and uh, she probably thought I lost interest. Mm -hmm. But her first re uh, bumble is the one where they where the woman has to swipe first, right? So the the on the first one she she uh she put willing to behave and ask nicely, mm -hmm. 
but uh, when you're setting setting the date up, I took too long, and she deleted the text. Right, right. But, well, uh, well, this is the thing. Nice. This is the thing, though. Let me let me say this. I I think I think that you know I, I like the fact that you saying shit that differentiates you from other men, which is why you was getting the matches, which is why that chick responded to you like that. I know on Bumble, if you don't respond, the, the match goes away in a day. So it's not that she didn't match you. You probably took too long and then it, it, it disappears. So, so you gotta, you gotta uh, make sure you respond to them joints. But the fact that she responded to you based off of what you said is good. You feel what I'm saying? Y- yeah. Hey, hey, Cole, real quick. Always remember, Cole, with Licario and I, bad boy mindset, we do one thing. We teach you how to lead the woman. Mm-hmm. So make sure when you put up, you set up your profile, don't make it and set up with these fucking women that, well, I like to go jogging and I like to do this and work out all that shit. No, you lead them to where you want them to go. Mm-hmm. And that way, if you have led her through your profile, you wouldn't have lost her because you need to navigate her towards you. Okay, brother? Push her towards you. Yeah. All right. So, yo, we got we to gotta, uh, go to a few more calls because we're going to be here all day. This, the yeah. phone lines is crazy. So uh, we're going to try to make this as quick as possible. Let's go to 914, then 443, then 954, then 718. What up? The phone uh, lines is crazy. So uh, we're going to try to make this 914. as quick as possible. Let's go to 914, then 443. All right. I got I to cut him off. He, he had his shit all. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah, we, let's, go to, let's go to 443. 443 was popping. Hey, can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. What's going on? All right, good. Hey, man, I was I I, I just got to throw something in real quick, man. Mm-hmm. I don't like how Steve set the young enough like that, man. <laughs> how do you set him up? How do I set him up? Because, man, look, 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 look. Listen, man, me and you both, everybody that's on this platform all know the minute that dude cut that lady off, cut the little chick off, he wasn't supposed to call her back, man. Well, but he okay. You don't understand, okay? Yeah, well, yeah, big dog, big dog. He cut her off for the wrong fucking reason. She right. was down. right. It wasn't like she wasn't dead. It, it would. It's one thing she said maybe. Oh, let, me, let me put you on hold because you're, you're, you're yeah. but, but call her. You see, this is where y'all don't understand. Y'all don't listen. If you just listen, the fucking woman was talking, running her mouth of. She wants to see you, but I can't because I got to look at my schedule. Right. And because of that, he said the wrong thing. So right. what men do when they say the wrong shit is correcting right. the wrong, writing the wrong. So in your weak ass world talking about he did wrong. No, we're teaching him something because a lot of you motherfuckers always run from shit instead of taking on, man. LaCara would say you. Bro. Right. That's the thing. And, and, and again, Understand that that dude who called up, he's beginning in the situation. So what he did, and this is this is the thing that you guys will do wrong. Jesus. He he listened to what we said, but he didn't understand context. So what he did was was that he just he was just running through what we said. He wasn't actually listening to what she was saying, and listening to what the woman is saying is part of the game, so that you know how to have the actual conversation to get things going. You see what I'm saying? So you guys have to understand that it's about reading the situation. I have a whole program on this. And if you notice, the guy that called up, uh, 310 I called up, and he was talking about going back and forth with the woman, he understood how to go back and forth with her. You understand what I'm saying? So this, this is why when we talk about learning game and learning how to talk and learning how to have that mouthpiece, right? Because remember, the guy who called the girl, he didn't have a mouthpiece. Right. The other guy who just called us, who was talking about, you know, he met the girl and, you know, all that stuff, he was going back. He has a mouthpiece. It's two different levels. You see what I'm saying? But let me bring, let me bring 443 back in. Yeah. Wait. How you when back you on 443? He shouldn't have called the back, bro. He just shouldn't have called the back. Well, he, why? He, Tell he, us he, why. He Tell cut us off why. him going back in to try to really correct Tell us why. him being indecisive. But tell us why. That's him being indecisive, bro. And the what? thing is, if you would have never called it back, because she was pleading so hard to get her point across, she would have still probably still would have been advocating, oh, here's my schedule. Here's nope, my schedule. Nope. Because the fact that he did cut her off, she's she 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 wants that now. No, now he no. Like oh, he now, cut her now, off. Now, now she said yes, he cut her off for the wrong reason. No. Don't, you ever okay, brother, 
How are you, okay, and again, I don't want to be mean. Do you have like ADD or a handicap? Because I don't want to sound like I'm being mean to you. Are you, are you impaired or something? I don't have a handicap. No, yeah, I don't, don't want to make sure. I don't, sure don't, 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 don't want to say. You try to get no, I don't want to mean like I'm going to be mean to a handicapped motherfucker that don't know shit. So I just want to make sure I got that across that you are you are a thinking motherfucker. So if you are thinking motherfucker, can yeah, you please yeah, yeah. All right, well then listen. If the woman, listen, if the woman is telling you she's down to fuck you, okay? And then you turn around because you don't know what you're doing and saying, no, well, you know what? Fuck you. You know what? I, I, I don't like wasting my time with you anymore. Right. <laughs> what, what, what do you think you're supposed to do when you don't know what you did? He did look, he only had what we call one in the chamber. His thought was whatever she was going to say, he was just like, fuck you, I don't need you. That was his thought. Right. He didn't think that she was going to be receptive to his thought because, caller, if you're paying attention, I'm put him on hold for a second. Yeah, everything he remember, he told us this one thing that he was not being assertive before that point. Right. So everything he was doing was beating around the bush. So she was beating around the bush. Mm -hmm. So when he finally nutted the fuck up and kept it real, she kept it real. He couldn't handle or accept or was ready for somebody saying, oh, shit, you want to go? Okay, well, I can't do it now. I got to work. You know, I have this new job and da-da-da-da-da, and I got to check my schedules. I mean, all the dog, Nicole, she was running her mouth for at least two or three minutes. Right. Exactly, exactly. So Explain to him, yes, I want to see you. I just can't see you at that time. But once I know my schedule, we can see each other. Lucario? Right. And, and this is the thing. You guys got to understand. See, when guys see what, what happens is this. When guys aren't well versed in the game, what they're doing is they're look. Because if you notice, if you run the, run the this, this situation back, notice he kept asking us what to say. You notice that he was like, what do I say? What do I exactly what I say? So he wasn't thinking and listening and being in the moment. He was just saying yes. what, he, what he said, what, what we told him to say. Yes. And what we told them to say was in the context of if she was going to say maybe again or just or just brush him off. Yes. But when he called her, she showed interest. He didn't realize she showed interest. So that he just kept saying the same shit we told him to say. But what we told him to say didn't apply at that moment because she was showing interest. He was complying. You see what I'm saying? Like, so that's the thing. That's what this is what you guys don't understand. So he needs to learn how to interact in that moment. He just didn't know. And that's where coaching comes in. And this right, okay, this is why y'all understand game. He fucked up, so he cleaned up his mess. Right. And if he did it right, he would have got the kiss out of this shit because mm -hmm. he was leading her. See, this is see, y'all guys are so quick to give up. Listen, it's one thing to give up on a woman that's not interested in you. Right. But why are you giving up on a woman that is? <laughs> they don't get it. They don't get it now. Now, if now if he now if he would have said, hey, listen, you know what? Cool. Hit me up tomorrow. And let me know your schedule. Now, if she never hit him up the next day and told him about his schedule, well, then cool. We're done. It's over. You feel what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, is the fact is this was the first time that he told her exactly what he wanted to do and what he wanted to make happen. And we already know from how he was talking and how nervous he was that he was not assertive in those other situations. This first time he was assertive was when he called up just now. Right. And she like, oh, right. okay. Well, blah 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 blah. You understand? And see, what happened is, is that he didn't know how to respond to that. That's right. all it is. That's what right. you got to understand. It's like, and, and Walter's right. Yes, he didn't listen. Right, Walter. But that's what I'm saying. The reason why we told him to call back is because when he realized he had an oh shit moment, fuck. Mm -hmm. He's like, fuck. I fucked up. So what we did was. We cleaned it up by right. having them go back. See right. how game, see, y'all don't understand how deep game is. There's mm -hmm. always a solution to everything. And the thing, Steve, they don't understand is one thing if the girl is fucking up. Yes. If the girl's fucking up, it's like, well, she's fucking up. So I ain't going to hit her back. Yes. I fucked up. Like, for example, let's say, let's say, let's say I call up a girl, right? Let's say I call up a girl, right? And yes. I say, 
And I say, uh, I say, yo, um, I say, yo, uh, Stephanie, what's good? Um, I was thinking blah, 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 blah. And she's like, Stephanie, this is Brittany. What are you talking about? Right. I fucked up. Cause I'm calling, I'm calling Brittany Stephanie. You understand? Right. right. You got to clean it up. <laughs> like, oh, my bad. Listen, yo, I thought I was, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I fucked up. So I got to clean it up. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. see, that, that's the, that's the thing you guys don't get is that when you fuck up, you got to clean your fuck ups. You understand that you got to be the one to do that. Yeah, he, he, he met, guys, he listened and he won. He just didn't realize he won. Mm. But then because he he was so apt to say, I'm fuck, I don't want to be with you. Or are you wasting my time? And then he realized, oh shit, I won. What, 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 he wanted her. So what we did was we gave him a solution to not only clean it up, but also get the kiss if he would have said that. That's game right there. Mm-hmm. Because he could have... He could have set that shit up and made it about the kiss so it would never be any, well, I... I, I, And see, see, this is the thing, Steve, they got to also understand. There's times where you need to charge a girl to the game. Yes. Because you fucked up because she, and then she now has no more interest in you because you fucked up. Right. You see what I'm saying? Well, what happens is, is that you will, you need to find out if she has no interest in you after the fuck up by trying to clean up the fuck up. Right. Because you don't, (laughs) Yeah, because you fucked up. You fucked up. She, see, it's like, like we said, girl, I want to fuck. Okay, let's fuck. I'm gonna come on, fuck you. No, fuck you, girl. I, I, you wasting my time. Do you like? Wait, what? Oh, well, that's what we're trying to tell you guys, man. We're trying to show you that. We're trying, you know, it's fuck. He he won. But you know what? It was a fear of success. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready for that, that, that response. That's all it was. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, go, let's, go through, uh, let's go through some of these calls real quick. We got three more and then we're going to head up out of here. Let's do, uh, 718. I think this is uh, Moses. Moses, what's going on? Big Walt, you hot. Steve, AK, hey, Steve, AK47, the Dean, man. What's going on, man? What up? What's good? What's up? What's up? Yeah, ain't nothing. Look now, Lacaria. I remember I called you yesterday, right? I didn't have a chance to really explain everything because mm. you know I wanted to keep it short. Mm. But listen, uh, like remember I was telling you about the girl that I fucked because the reason why I was able to get her is because I listened to y'all and I also called in to thank Steve the Dean mm. because <laughs> when I was talking to the girl, Steve the Dean's voice came to my head. Mm. Like remember, be direct, man. Tell the girl what the fuck you want, man. Mm. Stop being scared, man. Mm. You understand? So, Steve the Dean, I want to thank you for that. But listen, I have a question. Mm. My question is, you know, um, like, remember I was telling you um, if the girl hit me up telling me come fuck Thursday again. Mm. So if, if it gets to the habit where the girl keeps telling me to come fuck, like, how should I maneuver to that situation? Wait, if she wants to fuck you? No, um, I, look, look, I know the situation because I called her show yesterday. So, so, you know? you said, so you said the girl that wants to fuck you again... On Thursday, you said, how do you do what? No, no. If, if it gets to a habit, like mm-hmm. where, you, where she's constantly calling you to come fuck, you know, mm-hmm. and you ain't trying to come across as a thirsty nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, what? how do you how do you um, react well, to that situation? But how this is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. Okay. If you want to fuck a chick, right? You fuck the chick. But mm-hmm. what it is, is that don't you don't need to have her dictate when y'all fucking. You understand what I'm saying? You let her know when you're ready to fuck. That's it. So, so you know, this, so what, what I'm saying is that you don't want it to be where you're just fucking on her beck and call. You understand what I'm saying? You want it to be where you know this chick want to yeah. fuck you. You let her know, okay, listen, baby, look, you know, I'm, I'm free this day and I'm free that day so we can make it happen. And that's that. But the thing is, if you're not free or you're busy or, you know what I'm saying? Be like, listen, man, I'm, I'm, I'm busy right now. I'm doing this work. But listen, right after work, I need you to come over with that dress I like. You feel what I'm saying? And get it cracking. That's it. Right, brother. Yeah, it, listen, man, that's why. That, right, but listen, if you don't want to fuck, just say you. Hey, look, I don't feel like fucking today. But right. You know what? Send me a photo. Let me see that pussy. Send right. Me, <laughs> me, yeah. You're, you're you're you got free, the beautiful thing about being a man is you got free reign to say and do whatever the fuck you want to do, and not give a fuck about the result. Mm-hmm. So she wants to fuck yeah, you. Don't want to think, Mister Macario. I'm so, okay, go ahead, man. Oh, I didn't mean to cut you off. Sorry. No, you good. You good. Go ahead, man. Um, you was you, you. 
Yeah, but listen to this, right? Um, another thing, you know, I was gonna the other two callers that called in mm-hmm. where you was telling him what to say to the girl. You know, I was actually gonna have you do that to me. You know, because I have a chick that told me, you understand that? Oh, you know, she's busy. She has a kid. She's busy. You understand? All right, you ready? Busy, um, <laughs> Are you ready to do it now, Mo? You <laughs> Moses gonna make a call? Oh shit! The world must be coming to an end. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Moses gonna make a hold fucking on, hold on. call? What? Oh shit! I was, I was about to take my Pepto Bismol. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. You hello? ready? Yeah, yeah. But what happened? With, listen, listen. But what happened was, you know, I didn't. I'm not gonna do it this week because I got a date this, <laughs> this Friday again. Mm. And on top of that, too, I I got a like you know, Cario said I got a girl that I'm gonna fuck Thursday, <laughs> and I got another date Friday, so okay. I'm, I'm gonna do that next week. All right, well, so well, hit us up next call week. <laughs> I will call in. One last thing, I will call in next week. Mm. You understand where this way I will have space to do that because I'm I ain't trying to flake on the girls. You understand? So I would do save that for next week when you and um, Steve the Dean is there, and I'll have you uh, have you um help me with that. Yeah, real quick, Moses. There's a great point made. Okay, listen. Remember the rule of thirst. If you put a woman above huh? yourself, anything you do is thirsty because you said you didn't want to seem thirsty mm. about sex. So what I'm saying is, is that. Don't ever put, if you put a woman above yourself, anything you do is going to come off thirsty. Always keep her below you. Mm -hmm. All all, have her below you. So don't look at it as being thirsty. Just look at it as you're making a decision. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if you're making it about thirsty, that's me. Yeah. Okay. All right, my brother. uh, Call, brother. All right. Let's go to 412 and then 954 and we're going to head up out of here. 412, what's popping? Who this? Hey, Mr. Lokaga, the sushi. <laughs> What's going on, brother? What up, man? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I made a new video last night since we after we called. So uh, it was called the uh, 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 why men who don't like white women are pedophiles. <laughs> yeah. So, what the hell, sushi? So, uh, Come on, man. <laughs> Sushi, what are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> you know, he gonna make me put on my glasses. <laughs> what? What? What is that? Sushi, are that? you fucking serious? <laughs> Sushi, can you send? Yeah, us yeah, go watch it. Go watch it. All right. I want the link. Send us the link to that. I want to watch that bullshit. <laughs> now, why? Why women don't like Asian guys or white guys? What, what was it? What's the title of that shit again? What's the title again. Men, men who don't like uh, uh, white women are pedophiles. He said men who don't like white women are pedophiles. He said that's the title of the <laughs> What? Oh, well, actually, actually, okay. Well, actually, it's, uh, actually, it's men, who, <laughs> men who like anime are pedophiles. It's, it's not, it's not uh, men. Wait, men who like anime are pedophiles? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, Su- Sushi, I'm a nerd and a geek. I like anime. I watch the uh, Invincible. Is it Invincible or an- yeah, that's or an- yeah, that's the shit right there. I watch anime, Sushi, so I'm not a pedophile. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, like, who likes anime girls? What? What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. You mean... Guys that watch the anime titty girls and shit with the big breasts bouncing are pedophiles. No, just uh, who like those uh, anime girls. It doesn't matter if it's like, uh, you know, in a porn. Uh, you know what's beautiful about those anime girls? You know what's so beautiful about those anime girls that you don't know? There's this thing called cosplay. Sushi. Uh, and see what sexy, nerdy girls do is they dress up like those anime girls and let all those titties and ass hang out and you want... Mm-hmm. What? What? What are we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just, uh, yeah. Anime, you know, see... see. Hey, hey, is this what you, what, you think it's Asian hate or some shit, Sushi? <laughs> is this like Asian hate to like anime? No, no, no. It, in the video, I go through why, right? I, I say that you know. Yeah, post Sushi's, girls, like, post Sushi's like, uh, you know, uh, links to his, his uh, YouTube on the, on the, in the chat. Please, 
please post this this because I need to watch this so, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So in the video, in the video, I say like, you know, anime girls. They basically look like you know they're ten or twelve, right? <laughs> yeah, you know they're like kids. So. If you're into that stuff, you're a pedophile, right? Yeah, but brother, I used to watch He Man. Shira had some titties. I used to watch Wonder Woman when I was a little kid. She had big ass. I'm not a titty guy, but I, what is wrong with watching cartoon no. character? Oh, wait. The only no, no. one that was a pedophile was Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew was a pedophile. No, 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 no. The fucker wouldn't stop no, trying no. to get that pussy. Pepe Le was a pedophile. No, no, no. No, 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 man. It, it's it's Japanese anime girls, not not like American. It's different. Oh my God! So what is different about an anime? Ch- Let me pull anime, up. man. All right, all right. Hold on. Let me pull up an anime for everybody out there that uh, that doesn't know what an anime. But sushi, what is wrong with the anime-looking woman? They look beautiful. They're they're attractive. It's not like you're jerking off to them. <laughs> are you are you oh, jerking off to anime like women? Kids. They look like kids. They're what, too young. What, are you saying they're too young to look at anime women? Man, I don't know. Well, no, so the, the, oh, so, so the anime, the anime, let me, uh, let me the show anime you. women are too young. Well, let me show you the benefits of anime women where the real women start dressing like the anime women on the cartoons. Oh, Let's, my God. What's the problem, Sushi? And there's something wrong with them. And there's something wrong with them. See? Like, <laughs> That's hilarious. Sushi. There, sushi. You might not know this, but there's the sale. No, no, no. Sex sale, Sushi. No. No, 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 man. No, no, no. So, so in China, I'm telling you, man, this is a consensus, right? Like in China, everybody knows that, you know, whoever like anime girls are like pedophiles. Like, it, it's a consensus. <laughs> You know, but but everybody but, knows it. You know, hold on, sushi. Hold on, let me pull this up. Let me show you who I liked as an anime. I, I'm gonna pull her up. Hold on, when I was a little lad, let me give her and pull her up. Hold on a second. Go ahead. We listen, to sushi. That's hilarious. No, oh, why, why? Why? Why is it porn, dude? You think I'm funny, dude? You can't. You think I'm funny, bro? I'm serious, man. I'm dead serious. Well, 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 but, but, okay, okay. Well, 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 sushi. When I when I was a little lad, when I was a little kid, I used to watch a show called The Thundercats. Oh That's yeah, the Thundercats. Thundercats. and they had Shatara on here. Matter of fact, I used to li- I used to watch Scooby Doo, and it was Thelma and Daphne. Uh-huh. Bro. You no know, sushi. They got they got Thelma and Daphne porn now. <laughs> they all mm-hmm. grown up. Uh-huh. There's the, the shit. There's the shit. So I'm just saying, oh. Sushi, we're ki- oh. hey, we're adolescent boys, and adolescent boys like sexy. No, hey, no, no, no. Sushi, you mean to tell me when you were young and the teacher walked by, yeah. you never dropped the uh, you never took your pencil <laughs> and you dropped it on the ground, and as she walked by, you looked up at her skirt. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm saying, that's what we did as kids. No way. No, we did as kid. Look no, at the little yeah. rascal. I used to watch the little rascal sushi, and they were in love with Miss Crabtree. Right. All the little motherfuckers wanted Miss Crabtree. Steve, hold up, hold up, hold up. So this is in your own words, right? This is the, uh, this is the thing you don't know that you don't even know, right? Yeah, what, what, I, what I don't know, sushi. This is the thing that you don't know that you don't even know, right? What, what don't I know? What, what is it? You don't know the Chinese game. You don't know this side of the game. <laughs> See, you and Locario, <laughs> you and Locario keep rejecting this idea just because you never heard of it. Oh my god! Oh. I'm telling you, this is why I started my own channel. You guys told you guys don't like this idea, but I, but uh, you know, this is true. I'm gonna spread spread the truth. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I love it, Sushi. I love it. But yo, we got we got to go real quick. We got one more call, and then we got to head about there, brother. Now nah, we 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 subscribe. I'm subscribed to your, your channel, so everybody go subscribe. Oh, to you, you, you're still rejecting it, man. You, you subscribe, but you're still rejecting it. Everybody subscribe to Sushi's channel. I right? we gonna holler at you, my brother. I. Yeah. Right? <laughs>
I wish I could show you some of the Scooby Doo porn, but I'm just That's trying to find All right, so let's go to the last call, 954. 954 was popping. Yo, what up? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to quickly say, all right, Lucario, mm. between the ages of 19, between the ages of 19 through 39, you only smash about 20 girls. That's about 10 girls a year. That just goes to show that the straightforward approach is pretty weak. Wait, what you said between the ages of 19 and what? That's 19 th- I've been fucking since I was 13. So what are you talking uh, about? Where, where are you getting this from? What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking about? I'm going by the numbers Lucario is giving. Between the ages of 19 and 39, this man only this only this man only smashed 30, I mean 200 girls. That's only 10 per year. Bro, what are you talking about? First of all, when when did I say I I, I first started smashing girls in 19? <laughs> oh, well, you sp- well. Yeah, you okay. You probably started smashing before 19, but mm. by the age of 39, your body count was only around 200. <laughs> well, what, what's your point? My point is you're you're averaging less than 10. I mean, yeah, you're averaging less than 10 girls a year with the straightforward approach. So that shows you that the straightforward approach is not optimal. Okay, let me tell you, call it. You want me to shock you with something? This is gonna be shocking. I know it's gonna sound weird. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But the more pussy you get at getting half, you're going to have dick resting days and you're gonna be cutting women off because mm-hmm. you're That's- alone. You don't under you. See, you guys think that because you get pussy that you we get it all the time. We try to get rid of fucking women. We're not trying to bring them in. He's not, he's not taking into account <laughs> the situations where the girls wanted to fuck and you was like, I'm good. <laughs> right. We, we just had Moses call up and say, yo, the girl's begging me to fuck. And I was like, what do I do? Like, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> this is what we're talking about. So the thing is, is that if I fucked every girl that wanted to fuck me, I probably done slept with like two, three thousand women. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's the, bro, you, what are you, you talking about? You don't understand what comes with the fucking. See, I, I think you just see the fucking, but you don't understand the crying. I want to be with you. I want to kill myself. You're the only one for me. I miss right. you. Uh, why can't we be together? Why are you with that bitch? So what we do is we cut that shit off. Mm-hmm. Just because we can do it doesn't mean we have to do it in an in, 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 uh, excessively. Because it, we keep telling you, it's not about how many women you fucking that makes you a man. Right. What makes you a man is what makes you a fucking man on the inside, brother. It has nothing to do with the pussy. So whether if you're fucking one woman one year or fucking 10 women in one year, the fucking numbers don't really matter because you can get pussy when you get it. Let me, it, brother, let me tell you how tough it is. When you get this shit down and you walk out your door, you can just say hi to a woman or just make a comment. And because she knows that you're a real motherfucking man, she's going to start flirting with you. She's going to start throwing herself at you. And you don't understand how it is. Like, you're like, I, I, no, not today. I, I, I'm just I'm just shopping. And on top of that, bro, understand something. Listen, I have a wife and a girlfriend. And, and I still fuck other women on the side. And I run a business. So... Of course, I'm not going to be fucking all the women that want to fuck me because I ain't got the time. You know what I'm saying? Even if I wanted to, I can't. So I'm trying to tell you, what are you talking about? So, like, so, bro, have you ever turned down sex? No. No. Oh, you lost. Nigga, wait a button that. (laughs) Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh, my God. Stop fucking lying. Have you turned down sex for women you wanted to fuck? Uh, a few situations just because the situation. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god! Stop fucking lying! What are you talking about, man? Come on, son. See, 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 see. This be the BS I be talking about. Then y'all wonder why people don't want to answer y'all questions. Y'all be, y'all be, y'all be, y'all be calm shit. No, but brother, brother, this makes sense though. But brother, listen how you come into the show. You come into the show like your point is really a fucking fact. It's a fact in your world. So you can say what you want to say, but what does the point of hit? Okay, here's the million dollar question. What does Lucario's number right. have to do with you? 
that's the main question. What just explain that? Now shut the fuck up. Just explain that state. What is Lucario's sex number got to do with the fact that you don't have game? If his, if he's telling guys to be straightforward mm. and the straightforward approach is producing what less than one girl a month, no, but, then what's the point of being straightforward? <laughs> okay, you okay, you okay. <laughs> you're missing the whole point. Just because he's not fu- okay, hypothetically, if he's just fucking, let's say uh, uh three a month. Mm. You don't oh, you don't know that he may turn down thirty. That's what I'm, that's what he don't understand. This is <laughs> you, you don't understand number how how game works, young man. You think he's being straightforward? He's being straightforward by telling these motherfuckers, "I don't feel like fucking you. Leave me the fuck alone." Exactly. I'm popping up. I don't want a relationship. I don't want to marry you. I don't want to have your kid. You see, what you got to understand is you got to cut. You're going to, when you get in the game, you're going to cut women off. Right. Because they're going to want more from you. Right. Because they see the value in you. Mm -hmm. So just because you're being straightforward and you sleep with two or three doesn't mean you don't have 30 waiting in the wings where you could snap, just like how a woman can snap her finger and say, hey, let's go fuck. We have that same power. That's what I'm saying. Bro, do you understand? Like, I could literally have sex with a different woman every damn day of the week if I wanted to. That's, if you get, that's how easy it is. Like, bro, you got to understand something. This, Listen, there's times where I'll take breaks and will only fuck with my wife and my girl. That's it. Cut them off. You know what I'm saying? I'm Cut like, I'm good for right now because I, I got all this shit to do. I ain't got time for all of that. Yeah, you see what I'm saying, and then even within that, I still got random girls that I haven't spoke to in a while, or girls I didn't even I, I only went on a date with one date, and I didn't call them back, and they hit me back like, "Yo, what's up? How you been? What's going on? When can we hang out again?" Right, and, and, and <laughs> caller, you don't understand getting messages. How you doing? Or uh, it's Bur- Bacario's birthday was right. Uh, exactly. Little- you do you know how many? Yeah, happy- that was, that was but- it's that man. But call, listen, caller, what? what I'm saying is women are going to say happy birthday to Lucario so they can try to pick back up and get on the team. Exactly. You, 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 you Listen, I promise you, when you get game, you're going to get tired of women. Mm-hmm. I, I know it sounds crazy. Mm-hmm. I know what we're telling you is like so far-fetched, but you're going to get sick and tired of dealing with all the bullshit that comes with them wanting more than mm-hmm. what you agreed on. We agree to fuck, yes, but they always want fucking more. I want to leave my man for you. I want to have your kid. I want to marry you. I want to be in a relationship with you. Why are you with that woman? Why right. don't you call me? That's what we're telling you, brother. It's there's like Lacar and I saying there's levels of this, brother. Mm-hmm. You're only mm-hmm. seeing the surface of what we're saying. Right. There's reasons why that motherfucker is fucking. Here's the big thing. Because he chooses to do what the fuck he wants to do. Exactly. Does he have to justify his number to you, caller? Does he? But see, that's the thing. You're not see, you're not understanding, caller. You're not understanding how this shit works. You understand? You're not understanding that because understand this. The statistically, they say that most men will have sex with only eight, seven or eight women in their entire life. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what, most men, yes. Right. So what, what I'm doing already is 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 a lot. That's that's already excessive. You understand what I'm saying? So any guy that's done a, that type of shit, that's still a lot. So but what it is is this is that you're saying, well, oh well the, the straightforward approach is not gonna do that because you only did this. Bro, listen, how much sex do you need to have? <laughs> no, it's how much <laughs> How much sex do you need to have? Like, I, I can't even. I can't even calculate that. I can't even that's 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 you can't do it yet, but I promise you. You and I know this sounds crazy. You gonna get tired of the threesomes. You gonna get tired of the orgy. You gonna get tired of fucking women in front of their husbands and shit like that. You gonna right. get tired of that shit because you do it so much. It just. It's to the point. You ever see why I move? Uh, 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 I just, wait, you ever see why musicians marry ugly chicks? Because mm. there's so they fuck so many beautiful chicks, right? <laughs> they just say, you know what? I just want someone average. I, I, I like I want somebody that actually has a personality. Like I need, I need, to, I need to like you for more than it looks. And then they, find, they find this woman who's like okay looking, but she's like amazing. She's an amazing person, and you're yeah. like, you with her? Yes. Yes. All the rappers, Snoop Dogg, LL Cool J, 
all these rappers who you know can get these Instagram models, why they not with them? They're with they, their regular wives they've been with for years and all that other shit. You see what I'm yeah, saying? With average women. It's, it's like, yeah. Yeah. the beautiful women, beautiful women come with headaches. No, no, no. Women come with headaches when you allow them to come with headaches. Right. But what men do is they cut off the it's headache before women. it becomes a headache. No, I'm saying that, see, what you understand is there's a drug of man that you don't get, that women get hooked on. They mm -hmm. think they run and shit, but when they get around a man, they can't help but to give themselves to that person. And right. then when they give, they keep giving. They keep giving. I'm sorry? So how come nobody's wife up, how come nobody's wife up a baddie then? Because we're not yeah, about that's, that's, but that's my that's he our point. This is what Pretty does, brother, this, in the this game. Is you're not, this is what you're not understanding, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is why I say you got to understand the game because when you're at a certain level, you understand this. The reason why you're not seeing a bunch of baddies getting wifed up is because for a chick to be your wife, your headache. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not about about them being a headache. What I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that it requires a lot more for a woman to be a wife than just than just looks. It's not about her being a headache because you can have a girl that looks good, but if she's on some, if she's on point. He'll wife her up and he'll have a, a, a baddie wife. But what but what happens is, is that that's not the requirement for wife. You understand what I'm saying? Looks are going to, hey, listen, we're all going to, our look, all of our looks are going to change. Now, black don't crack. We got a little more left, but the looks right. don't change. But Carl, let me ask you a question. You, you think about your great grandfather or your great great grandfather. He, was he not married to your great great grandmother for like 40, 50, 60 years? Any, have you had any great grandfathers like that? Okay. Do you understand? Okay, but listen. Do you understand why he was married with her that long? Because every time he saw her, even at eighty years old, when she was wrinkly and old with white hair, he looked at her like she he saw her the first time because her looks didn't really wasn't the thing that made him attracted to her. It was the behaviors that came with the looks because. The looks are going to fade, but the behaviors will always remain the same. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking for a shallow, if you're shallow and you're looking for a beautiful woman with nothing in the cupboard, you're going to have a fucked up marriage. Listen, mm -hmm. be beauty is, is what beauty does, brother. That's game right there. Mm -hmm. All right, man. You, you so let me ask y'all one question. Hold on, one question. But I know y'all going to say it's the same, but are y'all trying to teach manhood or y'all trying to teach game? And I know y'all gonna hate this thing. Brother, it's it's one and the same. Game is okay. Understand this. Getting a job is game. Driving down the street is game. And game is everywhere. Right. It's showing you how to hone in on yourself to bend the reality of what you see right now. You see the world how you see it. We're trying to get you to bend your own fucking reality and the, the thought process that you have on a deeper level. See, you don't understand. You think game is just, let me pick up my joystick real quick and play a game. Mm -hmm. That's not game. Game is something that is deep internal in your subconscious, mm -hmm. not conscious level, subconscious, where everything needs to be changed. That's how deep it is. You can't change yourself on a conscious level mm -hmm. because you are the stories that you follow. You are what you believe. You're what you think. And what Lakar and I teach you is to go beyond, go below the surface, mm -hmm. learn that motherfucker you don't know to be able to change the motherfucker on the surface. Lakario, right? That's what that's what it is, bro. So get yeah, it's it's one and the same, bro. Right. What's up with this reality work? And what? What you Neo from the Matrix now? It's not about. See, you don't. It's no. It's dude. You don't. Un, dude, it's not about you going in a fucking matrix. It's how you see fucking your reality. What you see right now is not my or Lucario's reality. It's your fucking reality. Because you are the sum of the bullshit stories that you have believed in yourself and in the world. That's right. why you operate the way you operate. Lakari and I operate on a totally different motherfucking level that goes beyond fucking looks and all that right. shit that they're stuffing down your throat. See, you right. think reality, you see, you, they ain't ready for this shit. Man. Right, because the thing is, like, for example, you was talking about lying earlier. Right. The reason why you think you need to lie to get pussy is because you don't know how much chicks love dick. 
<laughs> oh, they love dick more than us. <laughs> like oh, you don't know, like you don't I understand know. that. They love dick. Ooh, they love dick. Huh? I'm trying to be a, I'm trying to okay, but like I tell guys all the time, you you smash more by listening to a PUA than you will from a dating coach. No, 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 no. You'll get ran more than a PUA because these women are going to get something out your ass to give up that pussy. You got to give something up to get it. Well, what? You have to give something up. Which PUA you learn from? Because most PUAs would be like, look, one date minimum. Okay, but brother, do you understand? You a black man. Do you under, do you know about Elvis Presley? Do you think Elvis Presley is the king of rock and motherfucking roll? Do you think? No. No. You ever heard of uh, Rosetta Thorpe, have you? Never heard about her fucking ass. You want to know why? Because fucking the, what happens in the game is white people go mm -hmm. across the fucking street and steal shit from black people and claim it for their own. Mm -hmm. All that PUA shit oh. is stolen from black motherfuckers on the street. Mm -hmm. that, that PUA shit ain't real motherfucking game. That shit is a that shit is made up by a goofy motherfucker. Some uh, nigga. <laughs> uh, a goofy motherfucker. Your 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 hero is a goofy motherfucker coming up with gift. They go across the street and they learn a little bit, and then they coming back across and say, Oh, I know game. So what did he create? A book called game. And that shit ain't even about game. Mm -hmm. And you don't even know that because you don't know. Now I don't I don't want to defend PUAs, but I will admit a lot of shit that they be saying, it does work. You can't you can't deny the results. You can't deny the results. You want to know why it worked? It worked again. Do your history. It worked because women wasn't privy to you, the PUAs having things called layers in the early 2000s. They had layers and women had no idea. It's still well, hold on, now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In 2007. When VH1 put out the pickup artist, the way remember, caller, can we agree? There was no Metal in, before 2007. There was no going your own way. No red pill. There was no, no fap. There was no uh, SYSDM. There was no red pill. You, can we agree? No. Can we agree on that? Wait, wait, because you want to know why? Because the PUAs were living high off the hog because they were underground. Once that shit came mainstream, women caught on to the bullshit. So then all the PUAs started complaining about women. Mm -hmm. Right. Your homework, brother. Right. Because the thing with the but PUA PUAs shit, okay. because P like PUA is in fake the, shit, okay. brother. Do you understand? I'm saying dating coaches teach guys, hey man, uh, be more assertive, be uh, uh have no, confidence. That's not so true. You're supposed that's to get confidence from. That's, not, no, that's, from that's your not true. See, you don't know what you because you're, you're guessing what dating coach do. What a dating coach does is he works on the individual as an individual. He doesn't tell him to do a certain things because in order to be a dating coach, you must sit and learn your client. Mm -hmm. And see where they came from to see how they make their own adjustments. Mm -hmm. You're taking what you hear on this show as as gospel. We're just giving you sprinkles of game. This ain't this ain't game what Lacar and I are doing. We're mm -hmm. just showing you that we know what the fuck we talking about, dog. Okay, but you, I've heard you and Lacario talk about uh, being more assertive and, and 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 being confident. Whereas a PUA teaches you how to mask. Your insecurities, how to mask your nervousness. That is gonna work. Do you think are women stupid? Are women the fucking stupid? Word is mask. Mask, right. Do you think women are fucking stupid? Do you think women don't know? Okay, what you need to do, this is a your homework assignment. You need to watch Jennifer Lopez's movie called The Hustle. And that's gonna show you how they know how y'all a bunch of suckers. Because hey, call her. What if I told you in a bizarre world, wait, caller, what if I told you in a bizarre world, I'd say, hey, big dog, I got an idea. You know what? Why don't we take a building, put a few poles on that motherfucker, and have women with their shirts off dancing on those poles, and not only can we have guys wrapped around that fucking building, but they are going to throw us 20s, 1s, 50s, and $10 bills. You think I'm fucking crazy in a bizarre world. Because women know how thirsty. If you would have told me that in the 80s. What? 
told me that in the eighties, I would have thought she was. I would have thought she was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. If you would have told me that in the eighties. Of, of course you would think that. Why? Because you don't understand women run game on you guys and you don't even realize. I'm about to show them this style, motherfucker. Your your God, your your Lord and Savior. I'm gonna show you your Lord and Savior. All you pickup artists, you all you guys, everybody that you're following, all you pickup guys, I'm gonna show you who the fuck you following. And then it's, it's a damn shame you following a motherfucker that look like this. This motherfucker, you pull this motherfucker. Up. Hold, hold on, Carl. Let me, I'm, about to, I'm about to show. Hey, but Carl, you need to watch this. This is your, this is your Lord and Savior. This is the guy that you're following. This is the guy that you are protecting. I'm about to say right. This is the motherfucker right here. This motherfucker right here. Your Lord, your Lord and Savior. Your, your, when you say day game, night game, nagging, every escalation. This is your God right here. That's your God. Now, do you think that motherfucker didn't go to the other side of the street and get game for black motherfuckers? Come on, man. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck out of here with that shit, man. Yo, I've been around for a while, man. Shit. It's, it's funny again. Look, look, this is the thing. This is the thing. I think the 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 the, the problem is this is that you're thinking, and a lot of guys think this too. Y'all think that we're here to just just teach guys, oh, just get pussy. The most important thing is pussy, 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 pussy. We're not talking about that. That's what most guys are here for. Say it again. I said that's what most guys are here for. We're not. No, 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 no. See, this is the thing. This is the thing. It's not about pussy. It's about you. It's about manhood. That's that's first and foremost. The pussy's gonna come if you're a man. That's what we was trying to tell you earlier. See. The reason why it's hard that's, for that's, dudes, that's to, no. The reason why it's hard for dudes to get pussy is because they're not being a man first. Women want to give their pussy to men. See, this is the thing. Guess what's going? This is the thing that's going to happen. Women are going to come and they going to go, but guess who's going to be around until the day you die? You. You understand? Not them. You. The motherfuckers don't want to die. Really. No, no, no. A lot of I'm, guys, look, men can talk shit about. Go ahead. No, what I'm, all I'm saying is that you're going to be around until the day you die. The women will come and go. And be alone. So if you're, making it about, if you're making it about the women, you understand what I'm saying? Then that's where you fucking up. Because you making it about the women is you it's chasing about the women. Me. Huh? It's about, it's about me getting the woman. That's what it still comes down to me. It's all about me, but it's coming down to how do I get the bitch? Right. So, you're not going to get the bitch if you're trying to follow and chase the bitch. Caller, did you need, did you need to be a PUA to get to the, caller, caller, did you need to be, get to the, be a PUA to get to the egg? Yes or no? Did I need a PUA? No, I was getting pussy before. Well, to get to your, to get to the egg to be born, your little sperm. Did you need oh, oh, you to the PUA? Did you need to learn indirect game? Did you need to learn how to lie to get to the egg? Or was there something inside of you that pushed you to get what you wanted? Which one do you think it is? There's something inside. Right. Well, 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 okay, inside of you, right? So if it's inside of you, that's what we do is help you find the thing that got you to the fucking egg and you don't need anybody and you need to be alone, dude. Y'all think being alone is a bad thing. Nope. It's the most powerful thing that you can hold over a woman's head showing her you don't need her, which mm. makes them want you even more. But you don't see that. But you don't understand. What you're looking at, you're, you see, what you fail to realize about us, I don't, we, I teach you how to position. I don't teach you how to beg for pussy. I teach you how to put you in a position where women want to fuck you. I'm, that's beneath me. I'm not trying to run behind no fucking woman. I'm a guy. I'm a, I'm a creator of universes in my mind. Why the fuck am I gonna beg a woman for some pussy? You see that thinking right there? You could teach guys. 
you could teach guys how to get women, but it might not be enough for them. So that's why they start using other techniques. No, it's not enough for them because they choose not to be enough. See, you see, you're you're still making it about the woman. It's not about women. It's about he me. He don't it's get not it. enough for me. He don't get it's it. It's not enough for me. Whatever you teaching, it's not enough. Then, dude, why are you here then? <laughs> because apparently you're here for a reason. I call because y'all was on some bullshit with the title. But wait, but, but wait, how do you know if you don't believe in us, how do you know what we're talking? See, look, I, I Lucario, I just feel this is a cry for help. Right. <laughs> just you're listen, it's it's sometimes it's hard as a man to follow other men to get help. And that's how y'all young kids are today. You don't want to ask for help because you feel that you're less than mm -hmm. you're crying for help. I originally came that way, but Y'all techniques weren't working. I'm like, oh, what the it's fuck? Not working because you ain't work. Right, listen, <laughs> we don't teach techniques. We teach you how to govern yourself, dude. Do you have your own? Do you have your own uh uh culinary school in your mind? <clears throat> where you cook up flavor? Do you have your own law? No. Your own judicial system where you create your own laws? Do you have that? Do you have your own marketing department? Do you have your own marketing team in your mind where you promote, sell, and market yourself? Do you have those things in your mind? Fuck no, because you never knew you had to have those things because you don't know what the game is about. You don't even know how to market yourself. You don't know how to put flavor in the women here, and you don't even have any standards in which you live by to stand on shit. But see, that's how deep the game is. I don't know how to put flavors in a woman's ear. You don't need, exactly. Can, you how many pussies does a woman have? <laughs> oh, here you go with this silly shit. Right, I, I, I'm, I'm done. I rest. My, I'm done. Let me, right. let me let me ask let me ask you a question. What what are what are three things that a woman needs to do in order to be a girlfriend? Y'all boys keep saying three. That bitch needs that bitch needs no, to no, make just, everything else. Fall no, under just that. name name three things. Name three things specific. Go ahead. Robin, I said she just need to submit. Everything else falls under that. No, Everything no, three things that. specifically. Go ahead. That's specific to you and your submit, life. As gotta stay, to, go ahead. She got to. She got to. She, she, she got to submit. She got to stay feminine. She got to stay fit. Uh, she got to know how to cook. She got to know how to clean. I mean, all of that falls under. Sir, the sir, sir, who the fuck are you? Where she has to do that to you? I'm that motherfucking guy. No, 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 no. Who are we? What defines you? What is your definition? What is it about you where a woman should submit to you? And what is she doing when she's submitting? Well, first and foremost, we know American women don't submit. No, no, no. What is she? What is she doing? What is, what is she? What is she doing specifically when she's submitting to you? American she does what I tell her to do. No, okay. What are, you, what are you telling her to do? What is she doing specifically? I need specifics. If I'm if I'm looking at your girl submitting to you, oh. what is she doing? Uh, she's going to. When I say she's going to cook, not just cook any old BS. She got to cook. Um, she got to cook some healthy stuff. I mean, I'm not sure. Like I'm what? not sure if y'all are into health and fitness. And like whatnot. what? She what type of healthy stuff? stuff? What type of healthy stuff? Motherfucker, well, I don't read that shit. What? She does. Basically, she got to become. Basically, she got to become my nutritionist. Like, no, you know, no. I said, what type she, of healthy uh, stuff she, is this? What type of healthy stuff? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What type of healthy you stuff? You know, vegetables and fruits. What type of vegetables, vegetables and fruits? And fruit, uh, 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 an egg and um avocado sandwich. Okay. No meat. Okay. What else? So stuff like that. What else? Sex on demand. Bro, this is what Keyword, I'm trying to on demand. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. Well, what I'm trying to say to you is this: is that well, what we're talking about here is this. You, it sounds like you don't know specifically what you want and what you're about, and then therefore I you don't submission. I but that's what submission. I'm saying. What does that's, that mean, though? What does you, that you mean for down you? Down what does that mean for you? This is what we're trying to say. That's the point. That so, do so anything I tell you to do, and what, okay. anything I tell you to do, you do so, it. What are you telling her to do? Your girl, the girl's right there. What are you telling her to do? 
Well, right now I don't have I don't I don't have nothing for her to do. But that's my point. I need to eat. That's my point, brother. And that's what we're talking about. If a girl comes up to you today, what are you telling her to do? She got to well, she got to make my dinner in a couple of hours. But as of right now, there's nothing for her to do right now. Brother, you, okay, brother, but you don't have a you don't you don't so, have a plan. You don't have a direction. You got that's exactly. what we're trying to tell you. <laughs> that's what we're trying to tell you, man. Already. Oh, what? Say it again. I say I got a game plan already. What's the game plan? Well, I already know. Well, if it's not you, it's definitely Steve's gonna be a hater. But um, wait, wait I'm overseas. Wait, I'm why sorry. would I? What? What? Why would I be a hater? Didn't you, love you long time. Hold on. Didn't you just say that your your technique is to lie? So how do you get her to submit when you lie to her? <laughs> no, that, that, no that, that, brother, that's, brother, brother, that's brother, a whole different brother. ball game. Just, just say I'm red pill <laughs> and just say that I don't believe I don't in that. I don't subscribe to that. You, you do subscribe because you want to go overseas. Because you say American... You say, Okay, wait. Did you say American women? Oh, are red pill. Red pill is don't talk about going overseas. That's S Y V M and it's more. Sir, tell me what's wrong with American women, bro. They ain't shit. Okay, stop what right there. Mean, they ain't shit. Wait, 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 wait. Have, have you? Have, have, you, for you. <laughs> have you dated every American woman in America to make that generalized statement? See, I knew you were going to say that, but you made generalized statements. Lacario made generalized statements. Wait, 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 wait. They ain't, I can tell you they ain't special because you want to know why? I, you want to tell you why I can make that generalized statement? Because I'm special. That's why I say they ain't special. Oh, okay. Not I'm special. Oh, well, uh, the, 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 what makes you special? What makes you special? Go ahead. Tell, tell, tell me your recycled lines. Tell me your recycled lines. What makes you special? What do you mean it's recycled? Because I see the big picture because I focus on the future. I have vision. Uh, I, I fucking uh, send clear, concise, impactful messages. I focus on results. I drive to build me up. I get things done. I act decisively. I take risks. I'm fearless. I take ownership of who I am. I'm always evolving. I stand on my laws, rules, codes, principles, narratives, mission statement, legacy statement. I know who the fuck I am. I know what I want. And I know if I don't get what I want, I'm cool enough to walk the fuck away. I'm fine with who I am. I love the fuck out of me. I love me. If you, I, I love me. I do all of that except three. I do all of that except three. Bullshit. It says the man that wants to run and lie to women. Women. I said I do all of that. I said I do all of that except three. If that was the case, why didn't you say that when the Carl asked you what makes you so fucking special? Right, and when what you want from the chick, like you can't even say nothing. You can't even say nothing, dude. I said <laughs> I need the chick to do what I tell her to do. Like I don't, I don't like it, it bro. That's it, it. Doesn't get more plain Jane than that. And, and I ask you, what do you, you tell her to do? What do you want her to do? And you can tell us. Right now, there's nothing for her to do. But in there a couple should be of hours, always I need some, my dinner made. There should so, be yeah, always be, my dinner. No, what I'm talking about, in, I'm talking about specifically, what do you want a woman to do to participate in your life? Everything that I tell her to do. But everything it, that that's I what I'm saying. Do. What do you need her to do for you? If a girl comes up to you and says, hey, I need a list of 10 things that you need me to do for you because I'm campaigning to be your girlfriend. What are you going to tell her? Specific. <laughs> Submit. Specifics. Submit. Okay, submit. Now, what? If, yeah. Okay, if I go to Target and I and I apply for a a a, a, a job there and they hire me and I say, okay, uh, okay, boss. So, what do I need to do for work? Just work. Okay. Well, what do I do? Just submit work. Me, that means she got to do anything that I tell her. So, what, so basically, she's on she's on call waiting for me to give her um, a command. And what's the command? That's what no, we're saying. Like, the command comes as life goes on. What the hell? If I no. get locked up, I'm gonna hit her up. Yo, I need you to bar me out. That's bro, what I mean. You don't shit have like that. you don't have you don't have this shit set up, bro. That's what Steve was talking about. You if don't, ha you don't have down, your stuff. If my set car up. breaks down, I hit her up. I'm like, yo, come pick me up. You don't have your stuff set up. That's all we're saying. And if, if you don't have your stuff Dude, set up, she's not gonna follow you. You're looking for key component words. Yes. You're just looking for key component. Yes. Words, just a nitpick and stuff. That's game, brother. That's what we do. That's how game works, man. That's how game works. Submission. 
Brother, so, you just Steve, listen. You dealt with an overseas chick before? Steve, uh, you yes. dealt with overseas chick. I mean, yes. with, a, yeah, with an overseas chick before. Yes, I have. Yes. You I know have. they are more submissive. You know they are more submissive than American women. That's not tr- no, that's not true because I don't give a fuck if she's from the I island of Zamunda. Wait, how are you going to tell me what I think? <laughs> Are you ready? To, are you gonna tell me what I, I'm trying to explain me to you? So you, let, let me ask you a question, caller. If 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 your girl wasn't submissive, right? Would you would you allow another man? Done. Hold on, hold on. If no, if a, if you was with a girl and she wasn't submissive, would you allow another man to come through and make her submissive for you? Oh my goodness, here you go with this shit. I'm asking. No. Why not? Why not? No. Why not? Another man can't be involved in my uh, endeavors. Okay, so now, notice you said that. Now, so why is it that you're going overseas to another country where those men made their women submissive and you're fucking with them? It's the laws. No, 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 but that's it's what I'm saying. You're, you're, you're messing with other men's women. Correct? It's the laws. No, but that's no, my point. Over here, I'm under the white... Over here, no, no, here, that's my point. Law, my point is, is, is my point is, is that you're going over to another man's woman who he already made submissive. Oh, and you want me to, and you want me to stay in this land where the white man done fucked up these women? Uh, no, I'll pass. No, you fucked up these women. <laughs> the white man hasn't. Why do y'all always listen, brother, brother? How? Wait, wait. We are under Caucasian leadership over here. We are under Caucasian leadership over here, and they fucked the game up with this feminism and all this. No, no. y'all fucked the game up because y'all followed a bunch of motherfuckers that don't know how to teach game. Right. Tell me, what has a woman... (laughs) Why does a man leave game? Overseas, you leave game. You don't leave game. Wait, wait. Have you not seen the the article where the guy, (laughs) the Chinese guy, bought uh, what? 5,000 iPhones and asked a woman to marry him and she took the phones and bought a house for herself. You the women run game over. No, no, no. no. Most, if you, most if, people, man, brother. Most rich people are clowns. Which, no, okay, listen. You're saying that is the thing that you're saying to yourself to make yourself feel better than talking to women. That's your clutch or your high right. behind because you don't want to look at the mirror you and see. Y'all using, y'all using shaming techniques to got to just try to get guys to not go overseas. No, when, no, no, go overseas. Hey, hey, go many times over. over. Hey, they need a green card. Hey, they don't let motherfucker. Do you know? Look, do you know the game they have overseas. <laughs> I guess you don't know overseas game because they try and do everything they can to get to the Americas. Hold on, caller. They're trying to do everything they can to get to the Americas. So that means when they get your ass and sucker you to marry them, oh, we got the whole family coming over now. Oh, hey, we we good. Now I can feed my family. You know some fathers set their daughters up to marry American men so she can give money back to the fucking family. Or you don't even know about the crime syndicates that have the... You, you really think you're talking to Jehovah or Mats Vita or... <laughs> Or uh, Valdesia or something. You really think you're talking to her, or do you think you're talking to that guy that's talking to you to get you ass over there to that uh, that country? You don't know the game over there, man. It's a third world country. I know my third world country rule. I, I'm well familiar. I'm well familiar that a lot of them would run game just to get that green card, and then they bounce on you. True, but I can extract a whole lot of value out of her before that happens. What, what, three minutes of sex? Wait, wait, wait. wait. You're going to fly. Wait. So you're going to spend airline fare <laughs> and fly uh, five hours just for three, yeah. five minutes of pussy? You're going to fly hours, listen, hours, hours for only a few minutes of pussy? Who said that? Yeah, Who said what, that? what are you going over there for? What are you traveling for then? What what do you, what is your reason to travel then? Why are you traveling over there for? Well, I mean, well, you already said well, the main <laughs> reason is what you just said. Uh, oh. I said the main reason. But you vet the chick, you talk to her, and then you know, you find out if she cooks, she cleans her family values, 
uh, that she worked for a long time. Remember that? Remember that? Oh, me horny. Oh, me so horny. Me love you long time. Oh, I love American men. You so beautiful. Man, you need to watch some of these documentaries where these guys get got. What was that? You remember that guy, Licario, the brother that was uh, giving that girl that money in Russia? He kept giving her money, mm-hmm. and she didn't even want to see the motherfucker. Right. I mean, all you, you don't know game. Again. Dealing with, with, listen. Talking about clowns. We're talking about clown and rich dudes. Who, yes, you're right. Those clown and rich dudes, they don't know no game. They think they could buy a woman. You're a damn fool if you think you could buy a woman. You don't think you're trying to buy women yourself? But what are you bringing up? Wait, wait. So are you going over there saying, hey, I'm from America and this is a chicken and uh, this is a uh, this is a hammer. This is a nail. What, what are you bringing over to make her want to be with you? You don't think women just because she speaks a foreign language doesn't mean she doesn't know bitch because they deal with bitches in their country. And just because the language barrier is different, the behavior is the same, sir. No confidence. When you go to Europe, when you go to Europe, oh, go to Europe. As soon as, as soon as them girls find out you're American, like Verizon, you're in. It's over. It's yes, over. You don't even gotta say nothing. Exactly, because they know you're the sucker. Do you know what a mark is in the game? Y'all don't understand women. They, you're a mark. Why you guys who fall for the trick? You guys who fall for the trick? I'm too yeah. sure. You fall for it just like the guy goes to the strip club to feel good about himself because there's a beautiful woman saying, oh, man, hey, guys, yo, it's so funny because it's ironic. Like, you're the one who needs this game the most. It's, it's so <laughs> funny, man. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Like, you, Mario, you need okay, this game let's, the let's most, say, let's bro. Say what let's say what you're saying is true, right? You're saying I need to gain the most. The most. I've yeah. tried it. The, the, direct, the yeah. direct, straightforward approach, I'm not saying it doesn't work, but the turnover rate is not to my pleasing. That's why I'm like, nah, let me come with the lies and deception. Hey, sir, you want to know why? Because you're not a student of the game. You're trying to go to calculus or trigonometry, and because you can't understand it, you yeah. get frustrated. So then you write the cheat sheet on your hand. Well, we're trying to show you a game is we're trying to show you to learn game because you don't you're not under our wing to learn game. You gotta learn how to count from one to ten first, brother. You gotta learn how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, diffraction, first. You gotta go all the way down the line. It's not see you want a quick fix. Mm-hmm. You're so fucking broken, dog. It's gonna take you damn near a year, maybe two years, for you to get out of the shit you're in because you're so deep in it. Right. You don't understand that, man. That's why you're not willing to do that because you don't want to wait or work on that t- the two years to clean up all that junk in your head that's fucking you over to then start to learn how good you are. You don't want to do that. A lot of guys don't want to do that. And that's right. why we lose. Right. That's facts. But call it. We got to head up out of here. We over going yeah. down to three hours in this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so appreciate the call, my brother. We going to holler, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Anything going on with you before we go, Lakar? <laughs> yeah, so guys, make sure uh, you guys go to badboymembership.com. Join the Bad Boy membership. You feel what I'm saying? Also, uh, you know, you get the Game Kings there. You feel what I mean? If you join the Bad Boy membership, you get the Game Kings for free. And um, yeah, hit me up on Instagram at, at Real Mr. Locario, And that's that's it. Yeah, guys, for me, it's the birthday month. So all month, all August, maybe to say September 15th, Right. Discounts on all of our products for the birthday month. So just go to the manmindset.com, click on my ugly cake ass uh, baby picture when I was small, and I'll give you all the details of how to buy, purchase uh, all of our products at a discounted. But uh, shout out to everybody in the chat room, everybody. We appreciate you guys out there. Always, Mr. Lucario. That's why he's the bad boy of the dating game because <laughs> he was here. Before the internet. <laughs> right, exactly. Before all of that. All that shit. shit. Y'all don't all that extra shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man. All right, guys. So we, hey, we, wait, let me say this. This e, uh, We missed a super chat. I think we missed a super chat. E-Money. Uh, he said, I waste a lot of time. Wait, where's E-Money's message? Hold on, uh, real quick. He gave us a $20 super chat. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry, E-Money. E-Money, I'm sorry. Waste a lot of time and money on PUAs. 
Now that bullshit helped my dating life. Um, yeah, 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 there you go. Right. That's, that's, that's game. That's what's up, man. Appreciate you, bro. Good money. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one, man. Sorry for going long. We usually go an hour and a half, but guys, right. we, were in, we were in double time. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, hey, and please support Sushi the Dating Coach. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> go, go subscribe to Sushi's channel. Facts. <laughs>